Has everybody checked into the hotel? All the residential guests? Show of hands, please. Very few for show of hands. Yeah, thank you. So for the first time in Traders Carnival, for the last 10, from the time we started Traders Carnival 10 years back, 17th years editions earlier, we have not had a female speaker. And for the first time, we have Dr. Seema Jain as a, fem uh, as a speaker at Traders Carnival. And we are very proud of this fact. So welcome, Dr. Jain. So she will be talking about swing trading and not options or derivatives or any of the fast stuff we are used to. So if the slower pace of life is your thing, then this session is for you. So please feel free to ask any questions and uh, we'll get on with it here. Thank you. Hello. Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, can I just hear from everybody? Everybody's awake after the dinner, after the lunch? I'm sleeping, you know. <laughs> I hope everybody's awake. Yes, yes, all of us need it. So I think today is a very historic day in the in the history of uh, Trading Carnival because I'm the first woman speaker. And Mr. Pasi, I've attended your webinar, if you remember. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> yeah. So it's so happy. I'm so happy to see from the people I have learned. And I just want to ask one question, those who are actually come here to learn. What is it exactly that you're looking from the stock market? What is it that you really want? I mean, I just want introduction from the audience. What is it that you're looking for? Huh? I, I just want to, I can't hear you. I mean, I feel if our objective is clear, we'll be able to find a clear solution, right? If our objective is not clear, we'll not be able to find a clear solution. Yeah, so I hope you, you are able to hear me. Yeah, yeah so for a few guys, it could be a, just to make a primary source of income. Absolutely. For a few guys, it could be a, just to make a secondary source of income. Absolutely. For a few guys, it would be a, just to uh, yeah. satisfy the adrenal level. <laughs> yeah. So what I was just hearing from all the option sellers, they have a very clear objective that if they get about 10% in a month, it's an excellent return. Absolutely. And I feel um, a lot of people trade and they get 1%, 1.5%, and they believe it's an extern, excellent amount of return per day. And I feel, you know, all of us are chasing Nifty Bank Nifty. There is a huge amount of money in stocks, and that to be in the cash ones. So uh, what I feel our objective should be, like I was talking to Mr. Amit uh, Seth, and he was saying our objective should be to earn money. Now, how do we earn money? It sh shouldn't really matter. So, um, I'm going to be talking about it, but before I really go there, I want to talk about something about me, you know, like how I came into the stock market. And I don't know whom I was talking to yesterday. Um, I think I was talking to Shiva. And Shiva said, when, since when are you in the stock market? And I said, ever since I was born. I was born in stock market, and I was meant to be in stock market. And that is how I look into my whole journey. And I feel if I look into the, you know, the journey in slow motion, 
I know that I did my PhD from IIT Delhi. Then I started an institute for coaching, which is starting from four to eight. And then I got an exact amount of window to trade in the stock market, which is, you know, nine to three thirty. So everything led me towards here. And in my PhD also, I worked in physics where we talk about momentum. So anybody who's aware of momentum, what is exactly momentum? Momentum is mass into velocity, right? In, in stock market for me, mass is nothing but the price and velocity is nothing but the volume. So if I see the price combined with volume and if they are both ready, like today, I don't know how many of you are present on my Telegram channel, I gave HEL in the morning. And HEL, I think, gave about 150 point. The simple reason that it had unusual volumes and certain conditions were satisfied, I have selected that particular stock. So just, um, so once, uh, you know, I was talking about how I came into stock market. So um, it is, you know, I was very, very tech challenge person. Like for, you know, for me, even sending an email is a difficult, was a difficulty. But in 2015 and 2016, you know, in 2009, when, or 2008, when Nifty made a high, I was on a long site. Like I had bought Nifty on that very day. And Nifty never came back to the same point. And I lost all my savings in, on, in 2008 fall. But a wonderful thing happened in that whole thing. I had bought a software. And that software helped me to filter stocks. And what happened, you know, for the six years, next six years, diligently, I would stop, start my laptop at 9, finish at 3.30, do my research, no trading, seven years just went into research. And those seven years paid very, very rich dividends. And um, not at immediately, but what happened, a time came when my son went to US, my daughter went to Germany for study, and I was extremely hard pressed for money. And that's when I started a YouTube channel. And it was very well received. It, I, I didn't get the numbers of subscriber that Abhishek has, phenomenally high. I'm still struggling and I'm just admiring you all who have three lakh or four lakh or five lakh or six lakh, how do you do it? Then I come to a point and I know nothing is gonna to come to me easily. I have to do hard work for every single thing. So when I launched my YouTube channel, I was forced to start my webinar. But before that, I was under such a stress, like 50 lakh of loan and about similar amount of taxes. And I, you know, I don't know who rotates Earth and I don't know who actually moves the universe. But I said to that entity, Hindi me bolte na sada hak etherak. And I don't know what happened. People forced me to start YouTube channel, forced me to teach them, and overnight almost like 100 people joined. And me and Sachin, my team is here. I have been joined by Sachin, Prem, Pankaj, Yogesh, and uh, Roshan. So in my team, there is this person, all of them have a unique style. And there is uh, Yogesh BN, his end name is BN, which is short form of Bank Nifty. In five years, I've never seen a red day. I've seen only two red entries, but not red day, ever. It's a record. I mean, it's a phenomenal record. So this is my team, you know, like rock solid and core, and I stand tall on their behalf. So let me start and, okay. So now the question still remains, how much should we make every single day? What will satisfy our financial needs? What do you think? What we have done, I'm not, I'm honestly telling you here, we can show you all proofs. We have made from 30,000 rupees to five lakh in a single month, just by trading in stocks, just by doing momentum trading, and not in one account. We have done it in five accounts simultaneously. And um, today also I'm gonna show you the profits that we made sitting over there. In three accounts we made almost like six, 6,000 rupees, four, five, six thousand like that, and just with a capital of about 25,000 rupees. So what I feel, all of us sitting here should have the first objective to create a consistent income, and to create a cons consistent income from the very small capital. Only that capital which I'm ready to risk. If I cannot 
risk the capital, I should not come in the stock market. So I think 20,000, 30,000 is okay to risk, even if you think you know you're in the learning process. So my stuff is extremely, extremely simple. But I don't know how many of you would like simple stuff. How many of you would like simple stuff? I'll just show you quickly. On my Twitter channel, to a handle, I have given, is it whisper? Okay, oh, so here, right? So I met somebody outside and he said, you're ATGL lady, I said, yes, I'm the ATGL lady. So this is the ATGL chart that I've given on my Twitter handle. We gave a buy at about 300, 360, and look at the blast it has given. In a, I think we gave it in uh, February, and it went in the next one, one and a half month, almost like three times. No rocket science, extremely, extremely simple stuff. So if you want to learn, but hard work. Simple stuff, but hard work. To find out those simple nuances from stock, stock market, you need to work every single day. You need to scan the whole market for days in and day out and wait patiently for a breakout. Okay, so if all of you are ready, we can start. So should we start? Should I start? Anyone interested? Are you all interested in Bank Nifty? Is there anybody who's interested? No? Huh? huh? Hello? Acha. Now are you being able to hear? But I think there is an echo which is coming. I don't know. No? Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to show you a lot of examples, but... Huh. Yeah. So I'm going to show extremely simple, simple examples, but you got to be patient and you got to be watching. You got to be watching carefully the entire market, right? And once you get the opportunity, then you need to enter. So my simple setup, I have steady. In, in, uh, you can just put 10 SMA, 50 SMA and 200 SMA. Simple moving averages, right? Simple moving averages simply mean that um, average of past 10 daily candles. So that should be plotted, and you need to have 10, 50, 200 SMA. So here is, yeah, just. So this is the place where I have given ATGL at 389, exactly on February, um, somewhere around February or something. You can see it on Twitter as well. So everything is a record date. So here I have given for a buy when the stock went horizontal. And the beauty is when 10 SMA take a support on 50 SMA, right? Only thing you need to note is that the 10 SMA sh should not cross no matter what. 50 SMA, and the price should become horizontal. That's when you take an entry, and my entry was somewhere here, if you notice, um, at this point, which is 412 or 408, and it's just been unstoppable because this is where two things were happening. What are the two things? Can anybody guess? I'm sure a lot of traders are here. A lot of traders are here. Two things are happening at this place. So can somebody guess what are the two things that are happening? Two, three things that are happening. Guesses, any guesses? I would just be happy to hear. Absolutely, but I'm, I'm talking in terms of uh, trading, right? Range breakout for sure, right? But there is one important thing for us traders is the stop loss. A stop loss has to be extremely small, right? So the stop loss is how many points? If you see here, stop loss is just about, is about uh, 30, 40 points. Risk reward ratio, if you just have a look at the risk reward ratio, it is, I don't know, one is to 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever. So the stop loss is extremely, extremely small. 
That is one thing. Second thing is, this is a place where institutions are entering into the stock. So institutions never buy in big chunks. They buy in bits and pieces, small, small quantities. But what is the way to recognize whether the institutions are buying or not? They will never let the price go below a certain price. They will continuously maintain the lower levels. So you can see that the price is being maintained by 50 SMA, like that is their standard stopover. And once the high is broken, it's not going to look back. So I'm going to show you recent trade, which I gave on Twitter as well. Um, the trade was JK Lakshmi Cement. Okay. But the, these trades don't come every single day, right? You don't get them every day. You get them once in a blue moon. And those blue moons days, you need to be aware you need to be awake and you need to be knowing that this is the day. So see here, now here I'm going to explain you the accumulation didn't happen for the longer period of time. But something that you can notice here at this place, see here these red candles, the price went below 50 SMA, but moving average never went below 50 SMA. What does this indicate? It simply, uh, you know, indicates that the, in the past 10 days, there have been buying. Instantly, like immediately, today, yesterday, there was a selling, but in, like over a period of 10 days, there was no selling. So here, you can go to the Twitter again. Um, I would just like to show you JK Lakshmi Cement. Here is JK Lakshmi Cement. I have given a buy above 561. Right? Wapis. No, no. Tell you. Maybe it's not. Okay. So I have given a buy above 561. Anybody will have no idea that this stock is going to go above on this particular day. If you notice, there is a tiny doji after the red candles. There is no clue whether the price is going to go up this aggressively. This aggressively. Right, but this doji itself is an indication that the price is not going to go any more down, and the moving average was telling me the full story. One single more thing that I would like to tell you people this space, you know, when the moving average becomes like this, okay. So this place, when the price goes horizontal, right? This place where the price goes horizontal and it is enclosed in a moving average is a sure shot sign for me that the price is going to go up. There is no doubt. Why? Because the moving average is telling me there is accumulation happening and it is, the price is enveloped between the moving average. And that is how you can see the big blast that has come into the price. I mean, I have given numerous talks. I, I think recently I've given GMM Fodler. GMM Fodler gave a good breakout, but I think maybe due to some reason, it gave a good breakout here, like this was the breakout, but then it fell, whatever reason, but eventually it's going to move in the upward direction. Why, again, if you have a look at it, the moving average is still not broken. Okay, this is a method by which I trade in US market, German market, Australian market, and even I trade in um, Hong Kong market, and bang on trades. You know, I can show you millions of trades that I have done in US. Like recently I have done a trade called um, KLAC. So this was a trade, simple trade. There was an Okay, it's done. So see here, this was a trade that I have given to my son. Um, when the moving averages envelopes the price here, and it, if it breaks the close by resistance, that w that's when I enter, but I would like to play always very, very safe. And safety comes when the price is above all the moving averages. When I believe that it's uh, above 10 SMA, it's above 50 SMA, it's above 200 SMA, 
and the price takes a support from the moving average, particularly from 50 moving average. So my target first entry will be here. You can see the line drawn over there, 380. First target is going to be 340. And after it crosses 340, it's going to be in uncharted territory. So simple technique, but very, very effective. I'll tell you another stock that I traded, Morgan Stanley. And I traded in this stock many times, multiple times. I've traded in this stock multiple times. Uh, in the past, not recently. So see here, this is Morgan Stanley. You will see the lines. Every time, if the lines are there, means I've traded in the past. So Morgan Stanley, I entered at about 80 for a target of 90. Then again, there was a clear entry somewhere here, right when this barrier was broken, at about 93. And it straight away went till this point, um, which is the top till here, uh, right, so it was, the target was simply 100, right? It touched 105, but our target was simply 10 points. 10% 10 is enough for us to make good money. So this method is a simple method, unique method, but you will have to do continuously, like you have to scan the market every single day. Uh, we have made a scanner, so my team is here and they say one thing, that trend is your friend, but I think, at least in Stock Pro, we have a slogan that momentum is your better friend. If you want to make con continuous, uh, we need to make continuous, um, uh, you know, like we need to compound our money. We need to have momentum, right? Momentum means the price should blast the moment you enter. So any idea, any guesses how the price moves? What moves price? Anybody has an idea? I'm sure all of you have an idea. But be, be speak it out, you know, like it'll be good if I can hear from you. Huh? I can't hear anybody. Demand, okay. That means, demand means volumes, right? Volumes are high, definitely. What is the next component? The price should be attractive. I only enter when the price is attractive, when the stop loss is close. My one condition, first and foremost condition is that the stop loss need to be very, very small. So if my stop loss is small and my volumes are coming, I would, I would definitely enter into it. So I'm gonna give you, I don't know how many of you have trading view. Do you all have trading view account? I mean, no need to be pro account. It could be just simple account. Anybody has tra trading view account? If you don't have it, just make a free account. You don't need to buy any subscription as of now. Just make a simple um, account. And what you need to do, just at the bottom you will see a line where you will see stock screener, pine editor, strategy tester, trading panel. I don't know how many of you can see that. The bottom line, the bottom line here, stock screener, pine, strategy, etc. So what you need to do, push it up a little bit so that you can see more what is happening. No, no, not that way. So you, we will go to the stock screener, okay? Now, first row you can see is basically ticker, price, change, percentage change, then change, then technical rating, then you have volume, then you have volume into price. So as we all know, there are only two things that are given to us in the name of data, right? Do we get any other thing from exchange? Do we get any other thing from exchange? Kuch hoa data aata hai exchange se? Nahi aata hai. Uh, you see the bid ask quantity, which is nothing but the volume, and you need to know the price. Those are the only two things that you get. So what you need to do here, go to the last, right? First you go to the top line, which is overview, performance, extended hours, financial INR. Then you come to the point where you see the unusual volume, right? Click on that, like I have selected unusual volume, so you are being able to see unusual volume. So what you need to do, if you just click on this, you need to pick only the unusual volume, okay? And 
leave it. You have to come here after 9.30 because that's when the data will be more active and you'll be able to filter out good stocks. And after that, what you need to do, arrange this volume into price in the S descending order. Like top pay, you should have the highest traded volume into price. I hope this is making sense to everybody. If it's not making sense, you can still ask me. Anybody who's got a question here? No? So, morning itself, we had here HEL, right? That means there were unusual volumes in HEL. And uh, you just see what HEL did today. HEL just blasted massively. See the huge blast that has come. I have only two conditions. Once I know there, is, there are volumes, once I know that there are good um, price is attractive, I know that it's breaking the high. I have only one condition. My first candle of 15 minutes should be very small because I want to take like, if the stock is making 5% candle, then where will be my profit? So I want the first candle to be extremely small and I want the second candle to be within the 15 minutes of the first candle, right? If these two condition with unusual volume is satisfied and my second candle's high is broken, I go for a long. So. Here you can see our, um, you can see the telegram. I have given a buy at above two five six six zero. Here is HL, this one, uh, this one. HL looks good above two five six zero. You can see it here. And we gave it about at 9.20, right? So we'll go back to trading here. So simple conditions, but here what happened? Because in one day, it was looking extremely good. If you just have a look at it, in one day, it was looking extremely good. And it was looking to be ready for a breakout. So the entry was a little early, earlier than second candle's completion. Actually, we could have entered at 2.531 itself, but since I found it, since I checked all the data, it took me five minutes, but have a look at it. What a beautiful breakout. So making money is not rocket science. We sometimes make it a rocket science, but it's just looking into the finer nuances. Thodi chodi chodi si details dekhni hai, aur usko dekhe hai, you can really find out good trades. So mostly yahi hai, iske base pe koi bhi aapka question hai, you can ask me. I, uh, something I can show you, what money we made. We were sitting there and we were making, like, we were just trading and making money. No, no. So here are the trades that we did um, because we were here and we missed that trade because of, so we did, in, this is just by deploying uh, 25,000 rupees in each of the account. So in one account we made 6,500, in one account we made 1,900, the other we made about 5,000. Simple, simple techniques and our only concentration remains on the volumes. So um, for example, I showed you JK Lakshmi. You didn't see the volumes over there, but I checked the data. I checked the NSE data when it comes end of the day. If you see huge trading, like big trades happening and lesser number of uh, trade, but more volume being executed. It simply means that there is a breakout about to come. So uh, here, you know, we just see where, where are the volumes coming, and volume is the key. If it's breaking the range, we enter, we just take one or two points. Like you can, you can see here, we bought it at, we bought it 929, sold at 941, and this probably may have happened in, in a minute or two. Bought at 76, sold at 40, bought at 80, sold at 97. So quick, quick profits, quick, quick trades, just deploying 25,000 and we withdraw money. Like the moment we make it 3 lakh rupees, we just withdraw, just leave 25,000 rupees. That's how we work. That's how we generate consistent income. So anything like, I have billions of strategies. I'll share a scanner also in a short while. But if you have a question, you can ask me. I mean, till, if you're clear about it, I don't know.
how much meaningful is it to you all i don't know but if you have anybody yeah, has so there's one question so what you were showing as of now uh, in the sense the gains which have been made through 25000 so it's quite evident that uh, because it's from 25000 those were not positional right no those intraday, were intraday. intraday and the setup which you explained was more towards positional if i'm not wrong so the one which i have showed you about the moving averages uh -huh. that's positional purely positional okay so the both the, the screenshot was huh. not related to the strategy which we discussed strategy th there was another strategy i talked about the unusual volumes okay so from that we generate our daily profits okay. and first strategy gives us you know monthly month month and a half we hold it and it gives a good amount of return okay and and uh, you talked about two basic moving averages hmm. which we are actually looking out for uh, picking up this thing yeah. why only those two specific moving averages yeah. is there any back test around there or some story no, around no, no, that no no okay. no no, yeah. no no so when i wanted to learn about stock market um, i had i couldn't find anybody so while scanning through the newspaper you know i got a gentleman uh, who used to trade in new york stock exchange so when he introduced me he introduced me to you know, the same system that I'm using right now, which is 10, 50, and 200 SMA. So somehow being old aged, like when I learned, I was in late 40s. I'm in late 50s now. I don't want to change. I'm still continuing. I've developed my learning, I mean, reading price from those two moving averages. So what you're trying to say is you basically got inspiration from the person who ha, was trading ha. into US equities and all. Ha, ha. Now just one final question to no, this I've, thing. No, but I've followed that system only. I haven't changed Ka it. You haven't changed. Ha. But now the thing is when we look into the functionality of hmm. how things actually work out in Indian markets ha. as well as the US markets, I find there's a bit of difference out there. So, so, so we have um, with us Pankaj. Is Pankaj there? So what he has done, he's modified my strategy. What he does, he finds out, finds out volume compression. So what happens whenever um, this uh, moving average becomes parallel to 50 moving average, there's a volume compression. So we filter out the volume compression and it could happen anywhere. Like um, it could happen not necessarily at the 10 and 50. So we call it, what do you call it Pankaj? Volatility contract. Ha, so volatility contract. So we have uh, made a strategy along volume compression wherever the volume get compressed and sudden expansion takes place that is when we take if it breaks the range so it gives better result uh, but i because you know i just have one hour i have to s tell something which is more meaningful and concrete because pankaj takes about 15 days to explain volatility contraction and expansion so I don't have that amount of time. I thought something. Just, just want to confirm. Is it the VCP of Mark Minervini? Something similar? Okay, something similar. Okay, yeah. thank you. So I am not that educated, Abhishek. I no, no. I, so I just sorry. was curious for this. <laughs> I, and you I'm answered it well. Little orthodox, still using what I learned in 2006, and I'm still trading with the same style. There is not no. an iota of change. And we agree that simplicity is what makes money. So yeah. Yeah. completely agreed yeah. with that. Thank you. So, yeah. Anyone has any other question? No question. So uh, we'll tell you, um, is Yogesh here? Yogesh is not here? OK. So I have, we have another mentor, Yogesh. As I told you, his end name is BN. So Bank Nifty is the shortest form of um, BN. And he always says that it's not trend is our friend, but momentum is our better friend. We only want to trade when the momentum is coming. We don't, even the trend is good, we don't want to trade until the momentum comes into it. So how do we decide whether a momentum is coming or not coming? So we have simplified it. You can show the slide? No. No? Slide. No, 60 seconds. Huh. So th yeah, these are the accounts that we have made money, you know, like I don't know whether how much visible they will be. From 30k to 50 lakh, we have made in just one month. Okay, Yogesh is here. So this man needs definitely clap because not even a single red day in five years. In five years, not even a single red day. So Yogesh, what do you say about uh, momentum trading? Hello all. So momentum trading is all about, uh, you know, Whenever you have RSI above 60, that is when you have strength 
in the trend because there's a famous saying in stock market which says trend is your friend and momentum is the king so i follow momentum so that is where uh, you know i get a lot of trades in green yes so uh, so what we have done we have made a scanner for all the people who are attending today and we'll be giving it to you so what we have done we have filtered out the stocks where simple strategy on charting rsi greater than 60 in, greater than 60 in daily frame weekly frame and monthly frame once we filter out that then we have put some other conditions like volume should be greater than this we have put some other conditions and after that you can follow whatever you want like like the way i told you i look into the first candle that should not be re really big uh, this is for intraday trading and second candle should be completely within so what trade we did today uh, today we did uh, kobai just show kobai i mean unheard stock but because it was coming how we didn't post it anywhere but because the momentum was so huge So this 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 was the trade you know so our trade don't lie uh, don't um, last for more than one minute or two minute or three minute we just enjoy the momentum we book the profit and we are out so in the three in the scroll shots you can show this shots we have Kauai almost in all the three of them all three of them yeah. so in all three of them we have traded in Kauai Kauai here Kauai here and Kauai here so because the momentum was so huge, we just entered at the right time, but you have to catch it before the momentum comes. And how do you get that? Again, the key lies in the volume. If you can find out from the unusual vol volume screener where the volumes are developing and you catch it before the momentum comes, then you will be ab able to capture longer, you know, um, longer profits you'll be able to have. So the key is basically key always lies in the volume. So um, yeah, so we can show the screen up. So this screener I think will give it to the DJ and probably you can take it from him. Um, we have our team, you know, for the last two days, three days, we freshly made it for you people and uh, we back tested it and we found it's very very effective and uh, this is it. This is it. Telegram screener, no? okay. Telegram screener. so here is the scanner ready so So here is the scanner. The stocks are basically like how have we filtered, I'll just explain you. First, monthly RSI should be greater than 60. Weekly RSI should be greater than 60. And latest RSI, which is today's RSI, should be greater than 60. Why? Because if RSI is above 60, momentum is building up in the stock. Because RSI is basically nothing but a momentum stock. Momentum, basically, it provides the momentum. Then we are just given, you know, that the second candle of 15 minutes should be within the, like, minus, uh, 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 should be less than the first candle. It should be within the body of the first candle. That's what we have given, and we got about some stocks here, um, uh, Hindustan Railway, Indian Railway, Hindustan Aeronautics, all the stocks that you can see, you can check what happened in each of them, and you get these stocks right after 9.45. So only thing you need to remember is the volumes. You know that the momentum is there. You know momentum is already coming. You know volumes you need to check if the good volumes, you will be able to see volumes from here. So there, are, there is a column for the volume and you can use it in the free version of charting. Why? Because this is 15 minutes. So you don't need any paid version of charting. Just take this scanner and you see the volumes from here. This here, this, the last column is the volume column. You can arrange, and what I really do personally, I first arrange, like suppose this is morning 9.45, okay? I got these stocks in the scanner. So the one which has already moved 
probably will not give me another 10% move. So I will go down to only a stock which is giving me a 1% move. Then I will look into how are the volumes, how's the first candle, is the second candle within, and if it is, then I take the trade. If there are no barriers, then I take the trade in it. So this is how my process is. So uh, yeah, this is how we will, uh, you can all take it and yesterday it gave some beautiful trades. Um, I think yesterday we had um, Honda, Honda Power, Honda Power was there and uh, a lot of good stocks were there yesterday and even the day before. So I think uh, our time may be running out, but anything you have to ask, please ask. Any question, anything? See, I think this is a time for you people to ask questions. Why? Because it's a very serious matter. You want to make money, Hello. don't you? I'll be gone, then whom will you ask the question? So if you have Manage a doubt, or um, you can really feel free to ask me a question. I will be able to, my team will be able to answer, I will be able to answer. Ma'am, is it audible? Huh? Yeah, is it audible? Is yeah. it? Is it audible? Yeah, 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 I can okay. hear you. So, uh, just now you showed a, sc a scanner in which, uh, say, some multiple stocks just throw up, right? Uh, uh. Uh, then what exactly is the rationale of picking those limited scripts? Hmm. Because when you are having, say, a limited capital as well, hmm. so there has to be some rationale in picking out some yeah. scripts yeah. after those first 20, 25 yeah. minutes and yeah. looking at the second candlestick, what you were mentioning. So so how do you define that? So I gave you the rationals. The first rational is the, the price. It should not be more than one, one and a half percent. If it is already more than, let's say, five percent or six percent, then where will I get my percentage, right? I want to take that two, three percent move, right? So I don't want price of the first candle to be more than one and a half to two percent. That's my first rationale. The second rationale is that um, volumes have to be good. Now I'm going to give you a very fine tip. You asked a question, so I'm adding that tip to you. Uh, you need to see the 15 minutes volume, the first 15 minutes volume, right? There has to be an expansion. So previous day, there has to be a volume squeeze, like volumes have to dry up. So if the average volume was, let's say, 50,000, then it should be at least 5,000 in the first candle itself. I'll show you an example. So here it is, this is HEL, and if you notice, this is the first candle, right? And these are the first volumes. Look at the previous day, there is a volume squeeze. Volume has been completely compressed, right? So it's like a spring, right? When you compress a spring, and when you release it, it's gonna jump, right? Same thing is happening here, volume has been compressed. So when you release it, and that you get to see in the first candle, if the volume have been released or not. So the moment volumes are released, it's gonna just jump. But ma'am, if you notice this pattern, mostly, you know, is common amongst all the scripts, like who is showing these kind of volume breakouts no, typically. No, 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 like no. many, like the ones which are coming in your scanner, if so supposedly huh. 10 scripts are showing the similar huh. pattern, huh. then how do you select the script? So, like then you so are including some in kind of morning, fundamental as well? In, yeah, no. it doesn't happen this in the morning. Right, this mm -hmm. is not the situa situation in the morning. The stock moves the entire day, now then only you see the situation. So in the morning, what will happen, I'll show you. Uh, this is the situation in the morning, right? You don't have any other candle, you can just see the first volumes have expanded than the previous day's volume. Also related to this, uh, just as last question, like the first setup when you explained for that positional strategy of that Adani um, gas, 
wherein you had uh, uh, literally a super run up you know from that yeah. particular breakout mm -hmm. and the moving averages part when you were showing so momentum does not exist every single day uh, i am I, from my experience what i can see like say for the first day if it has shown that volume breakout second day definitely may not be the same case so how do you f how do you come to the point of exit like okay this is the point where i simply has to come out irrespective of uh, the market condition like so in both these cases so as i told you you know moving average is one part i check in sc data what is happening to the delivery percentage if more delivery happening with less number of trades it simply means institutions are buying big quantities so i validate it with the nsc data you get it it's a huge amount of task first scan the stock then you see what's happening in the delivery if the delivery is higher with lesser number of trades it simply indicates that the stock is planning to go up yeah but this is this is the entry point what you're talking i'm asking about the exit point ha huh? atgl na the exit point like exit when you point. yes so like exit is very simple yeah. exit is very simple exit mein koi issue hai nahi so um, if you're talking about daily stocks i say simple strategies either you define after what movement let's say 10% 20% you will exit or if you don't want to define that you simply convert your stock into haikanishi candle and take one day time frame for example For example, uh, I'll take ATGL only. I think we spoke outside, right? Yes, yes. Did we speak? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you what. I, when did I exit ATGL? So I entered at the same time at about four hundred and twelve. here is when i where i entered so simply you know when it starts in the distribution process when the price goes in the distribution mode like price goes horizontal and it breaks the previous main candles low i exit in case you don't want to do that you can simply convert this into haikanishi candle and whenever a doji is formed and doji's low is broken you can go for a sell yeah so see here we entered at about uh, this price somewhere here we entered somewhere here and look for a doji if a doji's low is broken you exit so i entered i exited somewhere here i exited rather here because the 10 sma is not broken i kept on holding i exited at 1600 or something 1500 something this is the price where i exited so i use haikanishi candle below 10 sma if they stay for about a day or two i exit my trade because i've already made about 400% profit from 400 to 1600 means I've got 300 percent profit in just one one and a half month. I'm not interested in more profit. Let it go up. Whenever next opportunity comes, I'll take another entry. I mean, I'm so many option sellers. How many times you get 100, 200, 300 percent return? Rarely. So it's it, one need to be satisfied. It can further go up. Doesn't matter. I'll select some other stock. I'll go somewhere else. Some other stock I'll pick up. So any other question? Yeah, yes. Am I audible? Yes. Okay. Um so I have actually two questions. So one is what in this positional strategy you use what is the percentage stop loss uh you're using uh is it about 10%? Maximum. Maximum. Maximum 10%. And reward is going to be not less than um five times six times seven times eight times ten times anything is possible okay huh. and then the other question is uh, uh what is the universe of uh, stocks you are looking at like 
do you also look at micro cap or just i, I mean like only the top so 500 uh, stocks or so so we have a criteria <laughs> we have a criteria we filter out the best stocks we do it with the p we do it with the market cap we take into beta a lot of factors and then we make a list of about 100 to 100 stocks we just trade in them because they i mean we see how it's performing with respect to nifty then we see what is the uh, p what is the p ratio what is the different factors and with that we make about 100 to 100 stocks Hello. and that's Hello. about it we see the how the profits have been growing so good stocks but we don't want to enter into any random you know sai baba kind of stocks mm -hmm. uh, good stocks with good fundamentals those are the ones we enter hello ma'am we have one more question uh, over here can you put more light on bank nifty strategy bank nifty share trading yeah sure. <laughs> oh bank nifty expert is here okay so, the question is to him <laughs> not to you <laughs> It's a part of uh, Master Trader course at uh, Stock Pro. Please do visit the website and please do join us. And I'll be sharing my personal trading setup at Master Trader course. Thank you so much. I, I have a question. It's a follow-up of uh, Sudhanshu's question. Here. So the question basically is you mentioned you'd have a team to screen stocks. You would have a team which is more than one, I'm assuming. Team, uh, we have made a list. I'm sorry? We have made a list of stocks, right? Out of which, m mostly it's me who filtered out. Okay, but you also have a team to back it up or to do some basic research so or something like that. So, um, like Pankaj is my live trading partner, like we and Sachin is my live trading partner. We do live trading every day. Okay. So they have scanners, they have a, their own, you know, parameters which they have fixed. But usually we are on the same page, same line, same space. You know, like we all filter out the same stocks. Okay. So you have some company to interact with, to discuss context sensitive um, topics, etc. So what about traders here who are lone birds and like most of, I've heard mo many people saying trading is a lonely profession where they sit alone and trade. For them, is there some kind of a workaround for what you so suggest in terms so of screening of stocks? So we have given them a scanner. We have, will be giving them two scanners, okay. which they can use it. One 10, 50, 10 SMA taking support on 50 SMA okay. and the other momentum trading. So they can use both. And I've told them about unusual volumes. And okay. I told them if the first scanner is small and the second scanner is within, they can use okay. it. So yeah. these scanners are paid for? or No, some no, no. Of free, them free, are free. free. We made it specially for the conference. Oh, great. Yeah. Thank you. Because we wanted, you know, to make it very valuable for people who have joined. Okay. So we, our team made it in the last one week, back tested and we, we ensured that it gives good result. Okay. And we put, incorporated all the points that we have shared here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. So this should be useful. I think, Absolutely. you know, we'll also we'll make an free. announcement. Huh? If in case you send a link later on, we'd be happy to circulate it to the entire group. I will send it after to the, you. After I the will pre send it presentation. To you. Thanks. I'll send Thanks, it to doctor. You. done and uh, thank you for listening one hour and giving you valuable time and anytime you want to reach out to our team we are here for the next two days you have any clarification regarding the scanner or anything um, it'll be you know yeah yeah first of all sorry first of all a big round of applause for dr seema jain please First ever female speaker at traders carnival in 10 years 17 conference ca carnivals and this is the 18th one so thank you very much. And she is uh, given a free offer for everybody who trades. How many of us trade, uh, take uh, swing trades as well? Okay, so I think we have a good offer. So I'm going to circulate, I'll take the information from Dr. Jain's team and circulate it on the group for everybody. So thank, thank you very much, Dr. Jain. Thanks, Sachin. Thank you. Thanks, Prem. Yogesh. Thank you. Like, uh, I don't know how many of you can hear me. At uh, Stock Pro, we have a single objective that every person has to make money. So we do live trading every day, me and Sachin and Pankaj. 
and we ensure you get the best rate. You understand what is momentum trading, and you buy and you exit quickly. We also give free research on Twitter, and we give free research on YouTube and on our Telegram channel. You can watch it, you know, for days you just watch it, what is, because I'm a SEBI registered research analyst, but I have no paid services whatsoever for advising me. All my advisory, all my research, all my 24 hours research is for general public and it's absolutely free. So please use it and give me a feedback, give a feedback to the team and please make money along with Stockflow. Thank you. Thanks, doctor. So you can't get a better offer than that. So everything is free. These are hours of, and hours and hours of research that have gone into it, into providing those services. So whoever wants to use it and change their trading uh, strategies, please do so. So next up, how many of you trade bank nifty options? Okay, Santosh Pasi is asking me how many of you don't trade uh, bank nifty options. I think somebody at the back is raising both hands. And I think if we, if we had some uh, yoga experience, you would have raised both uh, legs as well, I think. So, okay, the reason I asked you this question basically is, the reason I asked you this question is, there's something that could be, I know this could be a controversial point, as interesting as trade, uh, trading bank nifty or probably more profitable than trading bank nifty options. So that is what is going to be discussed at the next session. And what I would suggest is, or what I would recommend strongly to all of us is to keep an open mind, listen to what information is shared, and see if it makes sense to you in the first place. Because, you know, I've been doing something along these lines for the last 24 months and with extremely good results, which I'm going to talk about on day three. 18, my uh, Pradeep and my, my sessions are going to be the last session of uh, Traders Carnival number edition number 18. So that could probably be interesting as well. But now let's talk about trading uh, Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum options, put options and call options. Over to Pankaj Balani, CEO of Delta Exchange. No, no, this is fine. Thank you. So guys, am I audible? I think I must be. At the back, am I clear? Good. So the catch line was, Aap logo ne bank nifty or nifty options trade kare honge. Today we are here to show something new. And now DJ has already stolen the catch line. So <laughs> without further ado, uh, guys, I am Pankaj, Pankaj Balani. I am co-founder and CEO of Delta Exchange. Uh, we are a cryptocurrency options exchange. We are very clear cryptocurrency options exchange, right? It's a platform where you can trade options on Bitcoin and Ethereum. We don't go into further smaller coins. Uh, where the volatility is very uh, wide and the liquidity is not as good. So think of it as Bitcoin, Ethereum, options exchange. Uh, this is our website. It's very simple, delta.exchange. Uh, what, can you scroll down a little bit? Any, like, yes. So we offer options on Bitcoin and Ethereum, call and put options, just like you have in Bank Nifty and Nifty, very similar setup. Now you have daily expiries, weekly expiries, monthly expiries. So shorter rated expiries and focused on individual professional traders. So that's the uh, target audience we have in mind. We are creating a platform for traders like you who want to trade options and on a which are shorter maturity and want to see that how do you manage your risk and how do you manage, you know, is there a good opportunity to make money in these products? Uh, on our platform, like you can see, in the last seven days, $2.2 billion have been traded. Of these $2.2 billion, roughly uh, $2 billion is options volume, then there is some futures volume as well. Average daily, we do somewhere around 300 to 400 million on, a, on a every day. Uh, roughly two-thirds of this is options, and then the remaining is futures. So liquidity is available in a decent size. Now, like I was saying, when we speak options, we always think of Nifty, Bank Nifty, and sometimes we wonder why should we look at options on Bitcoin and Ethereum? Like, maybe the volatility is very high, maybe these asset classes are not well known, then there's a whole question of, you know, what's the stance with regards to regulators and others. So these questions do come to mind, we will answer all these questions, but let, 
but like DJ was saying, keep an open mind and see the power in these things. These are new asset classes, not worth ignoring, is what we believe. There is good opportunities here, and now what remains is how do we analyze risk? How do we see how risky are these, and how do we manage risk? How much capital is required? So we are also going to share in the session what have other traders been doing on our exchange, and these $300 million that get traded on a daily basis, what do people actually do? <coughs> so yes, uh, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Uh, this is our website. You can go to the markets page. Then navigate to options at the top uh, uh, left, yeah, here. And here you will start to see the option chain. So I'll hand it over to Mohit, my colleague. Mohit, why don't you take over? Hi, guys. Very good evening. I hope you are all having a very good time learning new things here. Thanks to DJ for organizing this. Um, as you know, Pankaj have mentioned, uh, there are options in nifty bank nifty and stocks if you look at the let's say typical options uh, in bank nifty options then the volatility is around 20 to 25 and sometimes even lower than that currently we are in a very low wall regime so volatility ranges between uh, i will say 15 to 25 if and you know most of the most of the speakers here have talked about how to make money shorting options. Either selling some strangle or selling options based on the direction of the market. But most of the option, money in the option is made through theta decay or through direction. But at the same time, the premiums in Indian market are low com compared to what they are available in crypto markets. In crypto markets, volatilities are as high as 50, 60, 70, and sometimes even 100 to 150. So if I compare, you know, a simple comparison uh, in Nifty and Bank Nifty options and options in crypto, we have Bitcoin options and Ethereum options. Nifty have vol of 15, and Bitcoin has, you know, volatility ranging from 50 to 70. Similarly, uh, Bank Nifty have options vol of 25, and Ethereum have volatility of around 70 to 90 on typical day. The premiums are at least 3x to 5x more rich uh, compared to options in the Indian market. So the theta decay is very, very high. Let's say if you make 100 rupees per hour in Indian market in a position, it may be possible that in crypto you would be able to make 300 to 400 rupees in an hour. This money, of course, not coming free to you. There are risks associated. Um, volatility, realized volatility in market is very high compared to uh, traditional markets. Ethereum and Bitcoin can move 10% in a day very easily, which is not really seen in traditional markets, at least not in the indices. But here you are getting a product which is very liquid and where volatility is uh, very high. So currently, you know, we are looking at the Ethereum blockchain. And here in, uh, on Delta Exchange, you not only get weekly options and monthly options, you get daily options as well. So we have options expiring in 24 hours, as well as in 48 hours. So if you look at the expiries here, we have option expiring on 16 November, which would be at 5.30 PM, uh, after 15, 20 minutes, and we have options expiring tomorrow, and then weekly options which expire on Friday, every Friday. So most of the money uh, in the Indian market is made generally in Wednes on Wednesday and Thursday when you know, theta decay is highest. That kind of opportunity in crypto is present on Delta Exchange on almost every day. So you can sell these daily options every day uh, options expiring in 24 hours, expi options expiring in 48 hours, with premiums as I had, which are 4x or 5x of premiums present in bank nifty options. And at the same time, you have very good liquidity in the options. Current price of, I'm looking at the Ethereum, block, Ethereum options right now. Current price, spot price of Ethereum is $1,230. Uh, 
and I can see options ranging from call options from let's say 12, 10, 20 to 14, 20, and put options from 12, 20 to uh, around 11, 20. So options still five delta, 10 delta are available. So you can short options easily. Uh, current price is 12.30, so we can sell option of let's say uh, 12.80, which is $60 away, which is around $50 away, and it still gets 4.7 dollars, which is which is the IB of 80%. So this option will expire worthless tomorrow if you know market does not go up or market remains Ethereum remains below 1280 $12 dollars, and you can be able to make money of 4.8 dollars. Now, you know, uh, the question would be how much capital is required to take this trade? You are going to make 4.8 dollars if the option expires worthless within next 24 hours. Um, what kind of capital you would require for this, for getting this 4.8 dollars? So on delta, you require as low as 1% of the underlying to trade a particular option. So Ether is trading at around 1230 right now. You have options to select whether you want leverage at 100x, 50x, or 20x. 100x means you need only 1% of underlying. 1% of underlying here means that for $1250 underlying, you need only $12.5 as capital. So on $12.5 capital, you can make $4.8 if the option expires for the less. Which means ROI in a single day could be as high as 30%. And these options are present every day. These options are present after the Indian market hours. These options are present on weekends, Saturday and Sunday, when uh, most of the traders are free of, uh, uh, let's say, Indian markets. And there is an opportunity to make 30% ROI on the daily basis. I am not saying that, you know, this is free money, again. You have to risk manage your capital as you do in Indian market. Market and crypto are very, very volatile. Uh, the option here is $50 away from the spot. Uh, in crypto markets, sometimes when event occurs, Ethereum can move $50 in a single minute. So of course, these premiums are not coming free to you. You have to manage risk. But opportunity here is really, really great compared to uh, what is present in uh, shorting bank nifty or nifty options. So there, there is clearly an opportunity which is not either very correlated to Indian markets. So Bitcoin or Ethereum does not really move with uh, respect to uh, nifty and bank nifty. So the correlation between them is very low. So it may be possible that you, you are having a bad day in Indian market, you are shorting options, there is a large move. So there can be opportunity that you, you are able to make money in crypto market at that time. Should we take this trade? Yes. So let's let's take a take a sample trade here. Okay. Uh, we can short 10 Ethereum worth of options. We will require only 123 dollar of the capital, um, and we will make we will need only 123 dollar of capital, and we will get the premium of 3.5 into 10, $35. So $35 divided by $123. If my math is not wrong, it is around 30%. So yeah, we have, we have got this position, which is going to expire in 24 hours. And if the market does not go up by $50 within next 24 hours, I can make money, which is 30% of the capital I have put here. Yes. Am I audible? Is this my mic working? So, li so like you saw, when I was changing the price, the order got executed. Now, everything is very straightforward. You can place orders just like you do it in traditional finance, uh, buy a sell, you have all order types, limit market, stop, stop limit, uh, and others. Then uh, you can edit your prices depending on how fast or slow market is moving. You can place a limit depending on you want to hunt the market uh, or you want market to hunt you. And 
now we have a position here. You will be able to see all your positions in the positions dashboard. You'll be able to see the notional. So you see I have a $12,000 notional position. I have taken it at a maximum leverage that was available. I could have chosen to do less. I just took it maximum and used auto top up. That, you know, keep maximum leverage and keep withdrawing money from my account. I could have done, keep, put some money to the position and switched off auto top up and said, look, that's a maximum I want to lose on this position. Uh, but yeah, here, this is a $12,000 position at a, for one Ethereum, uh, for 10 Ethereum at an index price of 1200 and my margin right now is $150, right? So that includes $30 of premium that I received and $120 that I added to the position. Now, let's say I decide that, and right now my PNL is negative eight and I have 24 hours for expiry. Now, let's say I don't want to lose more than $150 on this trade, so I can just switch this off and system will not withdraw any more money from my account despite the fact that it has more balance. I can choose to keep it on and uh, all these things are features that you will, you know, when you start using them, it's easy to get familiar with. The important point here, we are, what we want to show or highlight is that there is good quality risk management tools available. The product is rich enough that it offers you a lot of flexibility in terms of being able to manage your balances. Because like we say in trading, you need to control your losses and you need to figure out you know, how much can you lose on the trade. So principles of trading remain the same, the same apply. And like we were saying, you know, the yes, these are volatile asset classes, but the fact that you are dealing in small expiries gives you more control. And the fact that there is no gap risk is very important. This is a 24 cross seven market. It will trade 20, till expiry. There will be no gap risk. So I can very easily place stop losses, right? That, okay, if the price reaches that much, just stop my position. There is no gap risk that I have to deal with. And in this 24 cross seven market, I have shorter expiry and richer premium. That is what most of our traders find most exciting, that they have rich premiums and, and daily and weekly maturities. So they can actually, sell options, take, uh, you know, take the juice out of these premiums, use the risk management tools, and the fact that there's continuous trading available as a good way to manage their risk. So just wanted to highlight that. Um, I again want to reiterate that market 24 into seven, there can be a lot of advantages despite the volatility as Pankaj mentioned. What is the biggest risk if you carry over your bank nifty short options? It would be the gap risk. Let's say you have shorted put option of bank nifty, which is 500 rupees away from the current price. What if, you know, some event occurs during the night and bank nifty opens up 1000 rupees down or bank nifty opens up 2000 rupees down. So that's why either traders to put spreads who carry over their positions or cut their position intraday only. In crypto, there is no concept of carry over because market is 24 into seven. So there is no risk management with respect to gap down or gap up because that risk is all minimized because market is 24 into seven. And for any order, we have all the features which are available in any traditional platform, be it bracket order, be it take profit, putting a stop losses. You can minimize your risk with multiple uh, risk management features which are available on Delta exchange. And you can. So you know, we are near expiry. Time is currently 5.27 PM. These options expire at 5.30 PM today. The options which are 16th of November. So this option is going to expire today. Yesterday, around 7 p.m., this was one day maturity option. This is when it would have highest activity. And since then you can see that it starts to trade lower and there's a continuous decay. So all your you know, ideas of theta decay and others will work, work here. And then like, like I was saying, 
a shorter maturity gives you a lot more control as to when to come in for theta. Uh, so, you know, options work in the same way as, as in the traditional market. There is no new thing about it. You uh, calculate price of the options through the Black Souls model. Options decay in the same manner as in the traditional market and option settles in the same manner as in the traditional market. So our option settle at 30 minute TWAP of the TWAP the price as, as in NSE as well. So we have, you know, lot of expiries to play with. Uh, yeah. So for the 17 November option, if I look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin is less, less volatile than Ethereum, but you can compare Bitcoin to Nifty and Ethereum to Bank Nifty just for, you know, volatility comparison and nothing else. So current Bitcoin price is 16,700. Uh, if we are comfortable that Bitcoin is not going to move up more than $500 in next 24 hours, we can sell $17,200 option. It's available at $35. And the capital you would need for this is only one, around $167. So for $167, you can get a premium of $35, which is around 20%. So you can make 20% ROI in, in, bank, in uh, Bitcoin options and 30% ROI in Ethereum options. So it is clear that you know, there is a lot of opportunities in the market in terms of making money if your risk management is robust. And our traders have found out a lot of strategies here you know, which consistently make money. Uh, I will not delve into them, uh, you know, how you can make money in crypto through strategies, but there are, if you, if you deal in the market for, you know, seven days or 14 days, you will come to know there are many profitable edges in the crypto markets. The behavior of the movement of the Bitcoin is very peculiar in US hours, in Asian hours, in the European hours, and you can find out a lot of edges uh, for trading these options and, you know, making an ROI. Uh, with very prudent risk management. After this, I will like to go to some of the features of the platform. That, you know, you can, again, you know, you can, you can look at your PNLs as well. This is, you know, one of the sample account. Uh, Fortunately, all of the numbers are green. They, they may not be green. Uh, you can look at your last seven days PNL, last 30 days PNL, um, as well as you can customize the ranges. So you can have transparency on the PNL side as well. Um, and look at how you have performed in the last seven days, in last 30 days, or in a customized range. So let's look at the last 30 days. So you can look at the PNL of you know every day, how you have performed in terms of uh, making money in the market, uh, how much, what is what is your activity on the platform? So we are very transparent about it, and there are tools available through which you can check your performance on the account. Okay. So you know the the main questions come around how you can trade in crypto. Because most of the people uh, do not have crypto, never been associated with crypto. So how do they enter into Delta Exchange? How do they sign up on the Delta Exchange? And how do they trade from the INR in crypto? On Delta Exchange, we have very simple feature of uh, buying crypto. And you can just go to buy crypto. And here we have partnered with uh, a third party and you, through which you can you know, convert your crypto, convert your INR to crypto very easily. So you can, you can just use UPI to, let's say, buy 10,000 rupees worth of crypto, 20,000 rupees of crypto, or 50,000 rupees. Uh, 50,000 rupees worth of crypto very easily in matter of seconds from the UPI. Uh, so, you know, given the opportunity in the space, uh, what I'm, you know, uh, suggesting here is that, you know, we should try as a trader to look at all the opportunity which are present. 
Now crypto being a very risky asset, uh, it moves 10% in a day or 20% in a day sometimes. Uh, one should try at least with, you know, initially with 1% or 2% or 5% of their capital, which they are, uh, which they are, you know, very willing to experiment with. And if you find opportunity there in terms of, you know, making money, then you can go with higher amount of capital. So for this conference is all the traders who have joined here, we are running an offer that whoever joins here uh, will get 10,000 rupees worth of crypto free on the platform, which is non withdrawable and you can trade with it. So you have to sign up on our booth, uh, register on the account, do the KYC. KYC is as simple as doing KYC on Jaroda or any other Indian trading platform. It's a 10 minute exercise where you have to upload your documents. After registering, uh, we will give you 10,000 rupees worth of crypto and you can experiment with it. If you like it, uh, I think you are going to uh, put, your, put more, more of your money into it because opportunity is so high here in terms of making ROI and uh, in terms of uh, uh, diversification as well. So this is, uh, this is how you can buy crypto. You have to just, you know, scan from your uh, UPI service provider and uh, you can directly put money into Delta Exchange account. Now, you know, when you join the platform, you would have questions that how can we, what can be the successful strategies in crypto? How we can make money in crypto more successfully because it is very volatile asset. So we have partnered with many YouTube influencers. Uh, some of them are here. Uh, you can look at the Delta Exchange on YouTube and uh, can look at many of the influencers who would be talking about a particular strategy which you can use to short options. Shorting options is as simple as how you do in NSE, uh, looking at the market, direction market, direction of the market, and uh, either take a view on the volatility. If you have take a, if you have a view on the volatility, that volatility is going to come down, you would rather sell strangle or straddle. And if you have a view on the direction, uh, then you can sell either put option or call option, or put spread or call spread. So we have partnered with many influencers on the YouTube, uh, which can provide, uh, which can be very helpful for the education purpose. So, you know, um, at this hour, so I'll cover a few more features. Uh, people usually have questions around deposits, withdrawals. We, were, we just saw the buy flow. Uh, now, while we are on at the buy flow, let's also see, you know, how do deposits and withdrawals work? Uh, very simple. Just go click here, deposit. Uh, you can either buy crypto if you don't have, which we just showed, using UPI. Or you can, if you already have crypto, you have a address on Ethereum blockchain. Uh, which is for your account, you can send money or crypto to this address and th they will be received in your Delta wallet. And the minute you are received, they will be credited to your wallet balance. So here you will start to see your wallet balance. This is of course a dummy account. So we have put some dummy balance in it. But yeah, uh, here you will see a snapshot of what you have and then how can you, uh, you know, dip, uh, uh, withdraw from it or if you want you can also convert say Bitcoin to Tether, Bitcoin to Ethereum and you know once in a while if you have conversion needs. Withdrawals. Now withdrawals are super important. Uh, the reason we have shown withdrawals here are also because we wanted to show that withdrawals you know uh, uh, how do they work. So the minute you you select your coin you choose where do you want to withdraw to you give the destination address you give the amount you pay a fee, which is a very small blockchain fee, but you know, for uh, it's, it's given here one USDT for Tron and BSC, and you submit a withdrawal request. Within six to 24 hours, your withdrawals will be processed. All transactions on Delta go through a manual audit. So you, 
we have been in operations for four years. We have not had any single issue with any kind of hacks and others. And the reason for that primarily is because we do manual audits on every transaction which is outgoing. Every transaction that is beyond a certain size will need a manual audit and a approval. You also have other features here. You also have our API documentation. If uh, there are people who are interested in writing their own bots, then there is Python clients available. Uh, we are also coming up with other clients and other languages that you can straightforward use and write your own bot. Uh, there's a rich API directory where all the WebSocket and the REST APIs are present. You can use them. Uh, there is also CCXT integration uh, that is available, uh, which will help you. Um, there's also a CCXT library. CCXT is a very famous uh, Python client which has multiple crypto exchanges. Uh, you can just use this library. Delta in Exchange integration is available there. They have you know, already coded all the routes, and all you need to do is just connect CCXT. So different kind of tooling is available that you can use to you know, make API trading quite simple. Uh, we have some very high quality institutions like Tower Research and others who are trading on the platform. So, uh, you know, APIs are quite robust and well tested. Now, prices of Delta Exchange are also available on, uh, on TradingView. So, if you go here and, you know, let's say, just like you see prices from Binance here, you will be able to see prices from Delta here as well. So, let me just give. So TradingView also collects our data uh, and shows it on their platform. You have uh, you know, uh, data available which you can use to uh, do your candlestick analysis uh, on TradingView website as well. Uh, again, let's come back here. Uh, let me go to the trade window. We have options, which also means that we have futures by default. Anyone who needs futures for their hedging, this contract is available, which is a Bitcoin perpetual swap, which is an eight hour future, trades about 25 million a day. And you have ample liquidity here to be able to uh, build or offset any kind of positions. Uh, you can go and select your buy and sell here. You can select which type of order do you want to place. And you can uh, keep a delta hedged position uh, if you want. Now, let's take a stock of where the positions that we have took are. So our combined notional was around $30,000, one Bitcoin and 10 Ethereum. Our Bitcoin trade is profitable, our Ethereum trade is slightly negative. Uh, so we are about $2 flat. And total, we have put in about $350 for this trade. Let's keep monitoring this one. Like I said, it's a 24-hour expiry, and we'll be here tomorrow as well. So we'll see you know, closer to expiry how this plays out. Uh, between some sessions, we'll just jump over and kind of uh, take five minutes of your time and show you how this works. So we have been speaking for about 40, 45 minutes now. And I believe it's a good time to kind of open the floor for uh, you know, people to ask questions and um, whatever questions you have. And we'd love to take questions on trading. We'd love to take questions on uh, uh, you know, how, what are other people doing? What are the you know, uh, opportunities? What are the premiums like? There's a bunch of other questions that come as well. For example, what's happening around regulation? Last week in crypto has been very volatile, so everyone, I'm sure, has questions. Happy to answer those as well, but probably the best forum for that is you know, outside or at our booth, because there'll be a lot of people who might have questions on trading, and it's easy to have a trading screen open on a bigger platform and address those. So before that, Mohit, you wanted to cover anything else? Yeah. Yeah, nothing else, just, you know, I would like you to be open-minded for any asset class which is as new as crypto, um, <clears throat> there are going to be some challenges as we have seen you know, in, the, in the last year. But at the same time, when an asset is new, the opportunities are there as well. Just consider, let's say you are trading in Nifty options when NSE started those options in before 2008 the kind of opportunities there would be at that time are not available now. Similarly, you know, 
when the asset get mature, if you enter into this space after five years, it may be possible those 20%, 30% ROI reduces to something like 3%, 5% ROI. So with the new asset class comes a lot of opportunities. So be open-minded and at least be open to experiment and try to uh, engage with the thing. I am, not, I am not suggesting or asking or proposing to put 50% or 100% of the capital, but you try with something as low as 100 rupees or 1000 rupees, which you are willing to lose. And I am very sure you are going to love it. Yeah. So uh, we actually saw the presentation, it was quite nice. Just a question around uh, uh, if we consider the charges also, which would be incurred once someone is trading. Yes at uh, what percentage we are actually going to break even after giving all the cost? Like a rough estimate. What would be the rough estimate? So this is a very interesting question. Uh, three basis point or 10% of option premium, whichever is lower will be your fee. So if you sell an option which is one rupee, the fee will never be more than 10 pesa. Right? If you sell an option which is worth zero, the fee will be zero. So at expiry, you don't have any settlement fee. So unlike NSE and traditional exchanges, on expiry, they charge you a settlement fee. We don't charge any settlement fee. Fee is lower of three basis point of Bitcoin price. Now three basis point of Bitcoin today is $6 per Bitcoin. So fee will be lower of $6 per Bitcoin or 10% of option premium. So for example, in this case, I sold an option which was $36. 10% of this option premium is $3.6. So that will be the fee. If this option was $100, my fee will be capped at $6. Not even $6, $5 because we're working with 16,000, but I'm just mental math using 20,000 as price of Bitcoin. So now the question was break even, right? Let's take this trade. Let's say I shorted something at 36. And let's say I want to cover it so that I cover my fee as well. If it goes to zero, I would have paid three and a half dollar as fee and made what? 32 and a half remaining, right? That would be my math. If it stays here, then it's, I mean, I will need to make minimum seven dollars on the trade because I will probably cover it only when market is moving against me. If the market moved towards me, this option will go to zero, I'm short. So $7 is probably for two Bitcoin or $50,000 volume or, you know, say $35,000 volume, you will end up paying $7 charges if you don't have any PNL and if your trade is not going your direction. Okay, one more, uh, one more towards this thing. Does that mean two things? First, uh, if someone, so in uh, normal markets, there are scalpers also. Yes. So first of all, maybe this is not that app for scalpers. That's one question. And second, uh, if someone is running, so what you showed is a directional uh, cell which you have actually done on uh, BTC as well as Ethereum if I'm not wrong. Yes. So if someone is actually going with some other strategies, let's say in uh, stock market, just out of curiosity I'm asking, there are people who run iron condos, there are people who are running butterflies, there are different, different kind of strategies, straddle, strangle. Does that mean that, uh, it? Uh, so in stock markets, for example, there are people who would be selling, so tomorrow also we might witness, there would be people who would be selling uh, options worth 10 rupees. There would yes. be people who would be selling 15. Yes. Does that mean in this case, we cannot go a lot out of the money? We really need to be in the money to no, no, make money? Because fee is 10% of premium, right? So if you sell an option which is 10 rupees as a premium of Bitcoin, let's say, Let's say it's a one hour away option and the premium is only 10 rupees. Your fee will never be more than one rupee, right? So that percentage of your premium kind of gives that protection, which is, you know, aisa nahi hoga ki your option fee will be more than your option premium. Jo NSE mein ho sakta hai, par wahan pe bhi, see, everywhere it's about knowing and taking care. To hum wo nahi keh ki, are, are, wahan aisa hota hai. But so scalpers will have tough time, right? See, scalpers ke liye, we have, a VIP program, once you reach a certain amount of volume in a month, you start to get up to 50% fee discount. Okay. okay. Plus, you can reduce your fee 25% on every transaction by using some reward points that we give. 
right? So when, when Mohit was showing PNL analytics here, uh, can you go back to PNL analytics? We were also showing some Deto or reward coins which were earned. You can use those to pay fee, right? They can be used to pay fee. They are like our loyalty points that can be used to pay fee. Every transaction, you can have 25 cents as Deto and 75 cents as cash. So you can get a flat 25% discount by trading on the platform. There's some sort of a loyalty reward program built in. Plus, if you do a certain volume, if you become a VIP, we have a VIP program which offers you 50% flat uh, you know, fee. fee. At a higher volume, as you increase your volume, you get more and more better slabs. OK, thank you. And there's a strong referral program as well. So see, for everyone who is attending the conference, we are giving 10,000 rupees balance in the account. Use that. Try it out. We are sure you'll love it. If you don't like it, don't use it again. But try it out with, with you know, some money that we are willing to put after you guys. There is, uh, and if you like it, you can deposit your own. You can also invite your friends and earn strong referral. There is a 15, 20% referral, you know, uh, commission that is built in for individuals who invite their, you know, friends on the platform. Yeah. Any more questions? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, this is a kind of a new market for us. So what is the kind of a growth that you guys have seen in last one year? Yes. Uh, for the options trading. Huh. So the question is, this is a new market. And what's the kind of growth that the company has seen in the options vertical? This has been a highest growth segment Espe for us. Especially with the Indian customers. Especially with Indian customers. Last year, in September, October, we were doing about 10 to 20 million dollars in options a day. Now we are doing about 300 million a day. In April, we were doing about 600 million a day. Mind you, we say volume, but we measure turnover. So when price comes off, value of turnover also comes off, right? Bitcoin price has corrected about 70% already from the peak. So despite that, we keep seeing good growth. So yes, there is very fast, very good adoption that we have seen. Uh, and what we have seen is that only happens when people like what they see, right? So we have seen exponential growth. Uh, I would say, uh, like I just said, about 30 times in one year. That is uh, the number that we have seen. And from Indian market. Now, India is a phenomenal market when it comes to options trading. We see numbers across the globe. India is by far the market leader today in terms of options trading in equities. US retail market is very strong. India retail market is very strong. Korea has been strong traditionally, but India market vibrancy is at a different stage. We see that trend in crypto options market as well. India remains one of the strongest market for us. And we feel we are lucky, lucky to be Indians to know this market so deeply and to be able to interact with you guys. Come in conferences like these and meet professional option traders, right? So India has been really strong. There is a lot of Indian users who are trading on the platform. Yeah, uh, one more question. Uh, option being a leverage product. On the top of that, you guys are giving 100x leverage. OK. Yes. So normally, like we, when we trade the Forex market in the global scenarios, yes. those things are there. So what would be a piece of the advice from you guys for the newbies so that they don't blow up their accounts? Yes. So let's talk about leverage, right? now. We are offering 1 is 200, that is available uh, for you, which, but mind you, as you increase your position size, beyond 10 Bitcoin, you will require more and more margin. Mohit, can you go there and start showing on that position? Uh, you know, if we increase the position size, how does the leverage increase? Just on the order replacement area, right hand side. So sell, we have selected Bitcoin. Then auto margin, uh, huh. go to 100. Now this is about 10 to 15, 12 Bitcoins at this point in time. And just as you increase the position, you will need more and more margin. Now think about it this way. The option we shorted, let's go to that option, right? the one that we shorted. This is tomorrow's option. We shorted it at 36. Entry price was 36. We had kept how much as margin? $200 as margin as a seller. So it's not like we are keeping, you know, 
a small amount of money from the option price point of view we are keeping about eight nine times but from a spot point of view we are keeping less we are keeping just one percent so system offers you this window that you can keep low leverage this is a way to control your losses uh, the premium the 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 premium that you received plus this one percent will be both be locked as margin so actually leverage is a little lower but bolne mein it looks like one percent so the 36 dollars of premium i received plus the 170 dollars which is a comes from price of bitcoin that is both locked into this position uh, having said that risk management is key right you don't want to be in a position where you don't know what's happening with your account so they have we have multiple tools that you can control the amount of losses that you will have you can basically isolate some money from your account and choose that okay i will only lose this much money in this trade something that is very difficult to do in traditional finance that you can allocate some amount of money to a position and say on this position i don't want to lose more money than this you can actually do that here i can just turn off auto top up in this position i will not lose more than 200 dollars come what may right so that way risk management is built in now we don't go with the positioning that fx brokers have which is one is to 500 leverage and they give it on futures where it's a very different ball game so you know you will get liquidated at the price movement of 1 by 500 right because 1 is to 500 would give you 0.2 20 basis point movement 0.2 percent 0.2 percent pe aapka margin call aa jayega wo yahan nahi hoga kyunki yahan pe aapka option premium bhi locked hai aur ye 1 percent spot ka hai option ka price nahi hai ye to spot has to move um, option price has to move significantly for you to get liquidated so what is my liquidation price my liquidation price is actually 120 for an option which is 36 dollars now it's a non-linear product but there is a decent amount of gap here right so this option needs to appreciate four times in value for me to get liquidated so the way we look at leverage it looks like 100 times but if you think about it it's not that uh, you know option trading's leverage is risky so i don't want to say it's not that risky my word needs to but it's not extraneous Huh. Yeah, I have two more questions. One, uh, when we transfer INR... Aapne, aap do question I think was sir aapse pehle se, uh, raise kar rahe to Yes, sir. Sorry, it's from, a, uh -huh. it's from a person who is totally novice. Can you world. speak a little louder? Uh, it's, uh, I'm a total novice to the world of crypto market. Okay. Uh -huh. So I just have a couple of questions. Number one is, are there any regulatory requirements? Hmm like in transferring of funds from because it involves foreign currency right huh. so some by rbs lrs scheme and things huh. like number one is that supposing if you take a hedged position will the margin benefit will be there like in the nifty and bank nifty yes third you know that is when you are saying that expiry is tomorrow and which time zone is that expiry time time zone which time zone it expires time actually. zone they time I mean, zone like whether us time zone or indian time zone or Expiry to a time pe hoti hai, wo time alag alag time zone mein alag alag hota hai. Achha, okay. To India mein saadhe paanch baje hoti hai, us time UTC mein ya London mein bara baje hoti hai, to vahaan pe basically bara baje hoogi, Hong Kong mein aat baje hoongi, to vahaan aat baje hoogi. To expiry is 5.30 India time from your perspective. Alag alag time zones mein alag alag expiries nahi hai. Achha, for same strike price ko, different different uh, time yeah. zones mein different different. Uh, Haan, jase abhi India mein 6 baje hai, Dubai mein saadhe chaar baje hai, agar abhi expiry hoi, to basically dono jagas alag alag time pe ho rahi hai. Okay. Right? Okay. So the third is very easy yeah, okay. and straightforward. Expiry is 5.30 India time. Achha, yahaan pe two things that become very interesting. Our traders tell us, the, they like the fact that there is expiry at 5.30 in the evening because it's about 3.30 nifty khatam hota hai, and then they have more time to trade crypto options. Also, these options, the markets are live on the weekend as well. So you can trade on weekend too. The first question was on regulation and the second question was... Uh, will, you, will I get a margin benefit if I take a hedged position? Hedged position. So, second one big technical question, so I'll answer that first. Yes, you will get margin benefit when you take a hedged position. You just have to select the right margin mode. It's called the portfolio margin mode. You can select that from top. Wo ho jayega. Aap platform use karna shuru karenge, to wo samaj mein aa jayega. 
the short answer is yes you will get benefit of opposite or hedging positions now let's come to the question of regulation and this i believe everyone would be interested in so it's worth spending 5 minutes on this so first of all crypto is not a security not a commodity not uh, defined in india particularly neither anywhere in the world right so sebi and other entities don't regulate it crypto is not a currency either so rbi also does not regulate it right crypto, rbi does regulate inr though right and in india as you all may know there are regulations around how much inr and you know uh dollar interaction you can have as individuals as corporates and so on these are called fema regulations they that is why whenever we provide you usdt inr we are providing you with a third party that is linked to the bank right so we provide you through a third party once you come here there is no direct purchase of inr so you deposit and withdraw through a third party which is a indian registered company controlled by the banks which is on meta which is alpine these are all payment gateways these are all basically companies that i have been probably approved by rbi to provide these services to wahan pe sara clear hai angle right this now delta is a global company there are customers from other parts of the world as well there is indians there is we have presence in southeast asia we also have presence in india uh, in in europe or that is why there is no INR trading on the platform so we don't open bitcoin INR markets we don't touch bitcoin INR futures there is no INR on the platform that you can use you can only you can have you will have to convert from INR to tether and then trade trade in tether or INR to crypto and then trade in crypto INR ke markets hum nahi provide karte kisi bhi cheez ke sath aur uska reason regulation hi hai because we want to make sure that we are in the clean with regards to this no gray area right so now the question is is there any license available for this kind of activity is there any other is there any other body that regulates us there is no body currently that regulates crypto there is no license available for this kind of activity either that is same for all crypto platforms across the world be it binance be it delta be it coin switch kuber be it coin dcx be it any of the local exchanges any of the global exchanges all these are this is a new asset class for which rules of the game have not been decided as of yet right and the reason they have uh, you know probably regulators have not decided or built the rules as of yet is because it's a evolving uh, you know asset class last year there was a lot of noise about nfts it's very difficult for a regulator regulator to preempt how will this nft you know business work just to give a reference point we don't have a very clear regulation on e-commerce in india as of yet or a clear regulation on taxi market in india as of yet right the app based taxi so doesn't mean that not having regulation doesn't mean make it something illegal right not having regulation means not having regulation there is no regulated body so what does it mean for the consumer what it means for the consumer is that you you understand how the platform works you do your due diligence and you exercise a certain bit of self discipline right like as a corporate also as a responsible company in the space we exercise a lot of self discipline and we give as much transparency as possible to all our users but ye cheezon ko main separate karna chahunga because this keeps coming very you know Uh, in the same brush unregulated and illegal are two different things bitcoin is not illegal in india neither is crypto trading otherwise to hum companies kaise chala rahe hote right so that is the unregulated is just that the rules of game have not been formed yet and there are many other industries jin pe bhi abhi nahi hua hai aur i can empathize with the regulator as well kyunki time lagega samajhne mein ki kya kya ho sakta hai is space mein and what to build for and that will happen over a period of time doesn't mean it's all wild wild west doesn't mean it's all you know uh, 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 no nothing is answerable to wahan pe aapko thodi research karni chahiye platforms ke bare mein you should be careful with the amount of money you put in you should exercise uh, self discipline and also see the discipline of the company you are working with uh, thank you yes sir
आई थिंक यहाँ पे वेल इफ आई डिपॉजिट हंड्रेड डॉलर इन योर अकाउंट एंड विदड्रॉ सेम अमाउंट नेक्स्ट डे विदाउट डूइंग एनी ट्रांजेक्शन हाउ मच ट्रांजेक्शन फी एंड करेंसी एक्सचेंज फी विल आई बी देखिए डिपॉजिट पे तो वर्ल्ड में कहीं भी फी नहीं होती राइट right? आप किसी के अकाउंट में कुछ भी डिपॉजिट कर सकते हैं कभी कोई फी नहीं होती है आई जस्ट सॉ दैट देर वॉज ए करेंसी एक्सचेंज ऑफ एटी एट रुपीज प्लस फोर्टी रुपीज ट्रांजेक्शन फी सो माई क्वेश्चन इज इफ आई डिपॉजिट हंड्रेड डॉलर एंड विदड्रॉ हंड्रेड डॉलर नेक्स्ट डे बैक हाउ मच मनी विल आई बी लूजिंग इन करेंसी एक्सचेंज एंड ट्रांजेक्शन फी जस्ट ओपन ऑन मेटर यहाँ थाउजेंड डाल दो या वट एवर डजेंट मैटर नाउ दिस इज बेसिकली अ रियल टाइम रेट दैट इज बींग शोन टू यू दिस इज अ पेमेंट गेट वे जैसे आप किसी ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट पर जाते हैं तो आप बिल्डर्स का या किसी का पेमेंट गेट वे यूज करते हैं राइट वेन यू गो ऑन एन ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट यू यूज पेमेंट गेट वे फ्रॉम बिल्डर्स फ्रॉम अ बंच ऑफ अदर कंपनीज बेसिकली दिस इज नॉट द कोर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द अंडरलाइंग बिजनेस दैट यू आर लुकिंग एट राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन यू मेक पेमेंट्स यू मेक पेमेंट्स वाई योर बैंक एंड सो ऑन ना दिस इज अ कंपनी दैट इज हेल्पिंग यू डू दैट दे हैव अ करंट रेट ऑफ यू एस डी टी टू आई एन आर एट एटी एट Now, mind you, USDT is not USD. USDT is US dollar on blockchain, right? So they are technically slightly different, and the rates vary on demand and supply. Usually, they remain at a slight bit of a premium to US dollars. How much is that premium? Four to five percent. So, at time of exit as well, you should be able to get that premium. I am not taking any guarantees for that, but I am telling you what typically happens in the market. Just hover on transaction charges. right so the money is then sent on blockchain to you that has a blockchain charge the fact that there is a decentralized ecosystem that runs and validates world's transactions is not free so every party has, there has to pay some charge on blockchain so 40 rupees is the blockchain charge then the partner they are not charging you anything delta is not charging you anything so this is the market rate of usd teller tether and the blockchain fee what i am trying to demonstrate here is that whatever is there it will be available transparently right that is the first thing now second thing is let's just come to what rough mathematics of what it is going to be like 100 rupees if you transfer and deposit then you will get charged about in this case uh just total fee is about what 112 no so this is 10000 and uh, for 100 how much you will get charged about 4 bucks uh, uh, for, uh, about 40 paisa of gas fee and uh, you know 4 5 dollar of transaction charges to aap ye pakad lijiye ki about 93 94 right so अगर आप 88 डॉलर भेजते तो आपको रफली 82 मिलेगा राइट या 83 डॉलर की, की वैल्यू खरीदने के लिए आपको 88 देना पड़ रहा है तो फाइव रुपीज़ पर 80 रुपीज़ इज बेसिकली यू आर पेइंग थिंक ऑफ इट दिस वे बट आई थिंक दिस मैथ इज़ वेरी क्लियर राइट नाउ लेट्स कम टू विड्रॉल्स यू आर विड्रॉइंग ऑन द ब्लॉक चेन अगेन यू हैव टू पे अ गैस फी ऑफ रफली फोर्टी रुपीज और समथिंग सो इट्स it's important that you do a decent size transaction 10000 rupees tak ka you know otherwise blockchain pe wo transaction bahut mehanga padta hai the cost of doing a transaction on blockchain in itself is 40 to 80 rupees you don't want to be doing that so the question highlights the fact that 100 rupees pe mat kariye ye sab 5 10000 rupees pe kariye to wahan pe you can ignore the charges bottom line here for anyone who's not been following that all the transaction charges are very clearly visible and your ledger will always be available for you to reconcile unlike other companies we give you a ledger where you can see all transaction charges all fees and everything transaction logs pe jana ek bar last at the bottom left last 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 yeah 
यहाँ पे आपको अपना पूरा ट्रांजेक्शन हिस्ट्री दिख जाएगा यू कैन सी एवरी थिंग ट्रांजेक्शन टाइप वहां पे ट्रांजेक्शन टाइप करना यू कैन सी अगर आपको सेटलमेंट देखना है तो सेटलमेंट पे कितना पैसा आया है कैश फ्लो कितना आया है फीस कितनी लगी है आपका किस मार्केट में कितना पैसा लगा है ऑल दैट इज वेरी क्लियरली अवेलेबल एंड डाउनलोडेबल यू नो सो दैट यू कैन रिकनसाइल योर लेजर या इज देर एनी अदर क्वेश्चन यू हैड टू क्वेश्चन राइट कैन यू शो मी दिड्रॉल पेज where you can withdraw some amount 10000 maybe so withdrawal right now you cannot withdraw inr you can only withdraw tether then you will have to take it to coin dcx kuber and sell that in 10 days we will have a vendor on meta again who will also give you inr withdrawals right now i cannot demonstrate that but if you have an account with kuber uh dcx wazirx or any other crypto exchange you can very easily withdraw there on that address and sell there yeah uh so if i am buying something i am paying like 5 to 7% if i am withdrawing how much would i be paying in terms of percentage roughly transferring to coin dcx so you'll right end up now. paying one tether how much would that be in percentage approximately are you have you doubled in crypto before uh, no okay so for those who have not doubled in crypto before mohit why don't you go to withdrawal page let's say you are you have an account at kuber or okay. coin dcx let's okay. say you are withdrawing 100 tether mm -hmm. right which is roughly 8000 rupees so you will end up paying one tether as a block which is the blockchain transaction charges right so if you withdraw 100 tether you will get 99 tether each tether was 88 so 99 times 88 is what you are going to receive basically 8800 minus 88 so if you withdraw 8800 you are going to get somewhere like 8712 got it right or something like that so just one question here yeah uh, like typically in uh, the stock markets the indian markets like uh, for the margins we also use uh, you know pledged securities as well as uh, cash equivalent for example yes so in this uh, uh, at your end like uh, what all uh, instruments you are actually taking as uh, collateral or if at all you are not taking at all yes so again very good question Uh, what are the various asset classes that are allowed to be kept as margin right can you use a bank deposit you can transfer money can you use an fd can you use gold certificates can you use bank deposits which are all asset classes that are allowed in traditional finance now in crypto we only allow crypto assets to be taken as margin so right now only usd tether and usdc soon bitcoin and ethereum right now also bitcoin and ethereum but you have to convert but bitcoin ethereum usd tether usdc these are the major assets which you can keep as margin why is this so this is so because it's a new asset class right it's a new asset class and it will be very risky for us to go and start accepting bank deposits and you know uh, other things like bank guarantees as margin and for that to come up there needs to be certain level of uh, regulatory i would not say some kind of more clarity uh, you know the asset class needs to mature i don't think crypto is there yet it'll probably be another 5 to 7 years be before you get to you know that level having said that if certain asset comes on blockchain that is very easily portable and it's very difficult to mix these two worlds blockchain world and real world so we only allow crypto assets as margin long answer short bitcoin ethereum and stable coins for those who don't know what a stable coin is like the name states a coin whose that is stable in price basically a coin that is always pegged to us dollars and reflects the value of us dollar on blockchain so one usd tether there are two three such coins usd tether usdc they are issued by different private companies and what these companies do is they take balances of do dollars and they issue these tethers or stable coin on blockchain these are basically used by the crypto community as dollar representations on the blockchain the value 
should should be one US dollar because they are dollar backed. So claimed by the private company that issue is issuing them. And maybe the last question. Hello. Any other questions? Hello. Yeah, sir, you just that time mentioned that 10% of the premium here. Yeah. So, yeah, so 10% of the premium is basically the transaction cost, what you mentioned that point of yeah. time. So for example, say I just take a hypothetical example as say 40 as the uh, option price, yeah. for example, and if I go with one lot, so, yeah. uh, so you mean to say that say $4 becomes my transaction cost, right? So Commission, uh, yes. Yeah, commission. So the full leg, if I just churn it, so it ba basically becomes $8, for example, if the no, same price, no, no, if the same no. price I exit. Because when, see, that is where it becomes different, right? So you, let's say, buy something for four, uh, $40, yeah, 40, an option. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow that option becomes $400 in price because it's in the money, mm -hmm. right? Now, let's say it was at the money option and Bitcoin only had to move three, four hundred dollars for it to become in the money, right? Mm -hmm. $300 ka ho gaya and it's in the money now. Mm -hmm. Now the premium will not be $30. Now the, the commission will not be $30 if the premium is 300. Commission will be capped at $6. Yeah, that I understood. If so it becomes zero though, then the commission becomes zero. Zero, I understood. So the, the range is between four plus the exit commission, which will be anywhere between zero and six. Yeah, so just like, I think in the first table, like someone actually was putting this very valid point, like for the scalpers basically. Yes. That uh, supposedly the premium is at 40, you entered at 40 and maybe you are into some kind of high frequency model trading. You come out again at 40 itself. So effectively, without doing anything, you are ultimately paying $8 for the whole trade. Like yes. if at the same price you are getting out, correct? Yes. So. Um, in this, if someone is putting, say, three lot or four lot position in that, so still it is like just 10% of just one lot or it is like into four for the four lots? The, the fee that we are discussing is per Bitcoin, right? Okay. Now, doesn't matter how many lots there are in, uh, in the contract, right? Okay. Because that will be some multiple of Bitcoin. Okay. So, in, for example, in Nifty, it's 75 Nifty hmm. per lot. Hmm. In crypto, because... 75 bitcoins in one contract will be way too high. So we have lot sizes one by thousand of a bitcoin. So basically one by thousand of a bitcoin multiplied by 20,000, let's say that is the bitcoin price. So one contract or one lot is $20, right? And the fee on that will be, fee per bitcoin is let's say $4. So fee on one lot is four divided by thousand, that is 0 0.4 cents. But that doesn't take away anything from the logic you were suggesting that look, if there is a scalper and is buying and selling very frequently, then let's say you purchase something at $40, you will have to sell it at 48 to break even. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So that remains in this market. It's a new market. And like Mohit was saying, think of it where bit nifty options were in 2004, five, right? Now, maybe scalping has limited opportunities there, but there are a lot of other opportunities, right? Also, I will not say that scalping is not possible. See, the fact that there is more volatility also gives you more room to scalp, right? And if you scalp, your volumes are going to be higher, we are probably going to give you a 50% discount. Let's say we give you a 50% discount because you have very high volumes. Then also you need $2.2 plus $2.4, $4.8 to cover your trade, right? So $40 premium needs to move to 45. We actually did something very similar today, right? We actually shorted a $40 option. Let's, let's look at it, where the price of it, it is right now. So the price of it right now is about there, where it was. Just click on that option, 17,200. Let's see where, where it is in terms of order book. Yeah. So for example, if I buy it, I sold it at 36. If I buy it at 37, I will end up making, you know, the commission loss. Any other questions?
So guys, we are outside, we have a booth and like I was saying, you know, feel come and interact with us. If you have any questions, you can have a word with us, ask as many questions. We'll keep these positions open, we'll show you the PNL tomorrow and uh, you know, see how the trade works. Uh, but yeah, we are around, uh, come and grab us and yeah, any questions that you have, we'll be more than happy to answer. Once again, I would like to say, uh, there's an offer that we have rolled out for all of you. 10,000 rupees for every participant who has joined Traders Carnival. Uh, we will send you an email, claim that, register on our website, you will see 10,000 rupees in your account. You can trade with that and see how you like it. And yeah, thanks for, thanks for patiently listening and I'll hand it over to the next speaker. Thanks everyone. Hey, good evening, everyone. Louder, come on. Good evening, everyone. Acha, so, uh, basically, how the day is going on for you people? Awesome? Yes or no? Come on. Ajay, it seems like after a taxing day for the entire day, because you guys must be sitting right from the morning. I believe from 9, 9.30, everyone is sitting over here. And I can understand it becomes very exhausting. So let's do a quick activity before we actually start off with the session. So I request everyone to stand up on their seat. Everyone, just stand up on your seat. Quickly, quickly, come on. Don't be lethargic, come on. We are just going to do two things. And uh, for one of the things, I'll give credits to Santosh ji. That would be the second activity which we are going to do. <laughs> but the first one, on the count of three, on the count of three, we are going to clap at the loudest voice. We are going to clap. I'll tell you the reason also that is something related to trading. So on the count of three, everyone. One, two, three, come on. <laughs> louder, come on the backstage people. Everyone, louder, 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 come on. Everyone should understand that it's a carnival. Amazing, amazing. And just one thing, one thing. This is specifically because our dear friend Santoshji also suggested. On the count of three, we are going to laugh at the loudest voice. Laugh, okay? So one, two, three, everyone. Ha 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 ha. 
कम ऑन वन टू थ्री ओके साइन तो पहली बात हंसा इसलिए दिया क्योंकि कल सब रोने वाले हैं थर्सडे एक्सपायरी है एंड एंड द रीजन इज बिकॉज एवरी वन वॉज सिटिंग राइट फ्रॉम द डे वन लाइक फ्रॉम द मॉर्निंग एंड इट बिकम्स वेरी एग्जॉस्टिव राइट येस और नो येस और नो सो वॉट वी आर कैन डू इज आई एम वेरी कॉग्निजेंट अबाउट दिस फैक्ट दैट मोस्ट मीनिंगफुल कॉन्वर्जेशन आर एक्चुअली डायलॉग्स सो वेन एवर यू एग्री विथ मी जस्ट से यो वॉट वुड यू से यो वॉट वुड यू से एवरी वन आई एम louder come on what would you say amazing and if you don't agree you would say no so how many of you sitting over here have ever used vwap just say yo amazing yo yo honey singh great so vwap is a very beautiful tool which i believe at some point of time every experienced intraday trader must have used in their journey agreed great so today i'm going to talk about a very basic yet very important setup which i personally have been using around the stocks very simple we are going to look around to the charts in fact to make the concept clearer for all of you what we are going to do is we are going to so, uh, see some charts which happened today a few setups which developed today and you would be surprised and astounded that within simple setups a lot of people can make money just to build up a perspective i am not exactly an algo trader i'm a discretionary one discretionary one is someone who is actually manually putting the orders but that person might be having a system so i am somewhat of that sort and what i've observed over my conversations or interactions with a lot of people that a lot of retail people they switch to algo systems after a certain point of time but initially what they actually do is discretionary how many of you agree with me louder how many of you agree with me amazing i'm making sure that no one falls asleep during this particular session so let's start over the session first 15 20 minutes what i'm going to talk about is the basic concept and then i'm going to run you through a few setups which developed today so the very first thing what is volume weighted average uh, price that's just a technical analysis indicator which you actually get at the beginning of every session so for those people who haven't used vwap so far let me just make it clear it's an intraday tool you can't use it for swing although these days there are various variations which people are using for example some people have found anchored vwap how many of you have heard of it anchored vwap great so some people are using various variations of vwap in fact if you go on trading view now trading view has certain feature through which you can also plot this on various time frames but i particularly use vwap in general just for a simple thing the next thing is it shows the daily average price which security has traded in terms of both volume and price some of you must be wondering what is the need of trading with vwap when you already have moving averages let me tell you even my evolution took place first i was using moving averages itself but sooner i realized that moving averages could be lagging in nature because they are actually giving you indications after a certain point of time so then i thought while uh, going through permutation and combinations i realized and i stumbled upon this particular indicator vwap and i realized this is actually a beautiful indicator and since then there was no looking back i'm not denying the fact that moving averages still play a very pivotal role into a lot of traders system but this is now just a part of my system which i'm going to discuss so vwap this is a basic of this thing it enables even the algo traders so even the algo traders who are sitting over here must be using vwap at certain point of time in fact a few friends of mine a few colleagues of mine they have been extensively using vwap into their particular system and uh, an opening vwap is basically going to give you a very good idea about the market structure now what all things can vwap help you out to give before we go into the screen and try to understand the setup so vwap is going to give you both support and resistance for the stocks a flattish vwap that is going straight in the line is actually going to give you better opportunities a lot of us are actually looking only for a trending vwap that yes when the stock is just going up when the vwap is going up that is particularly when they are trying to buy or sell but remember if you are getting a flattish vwap i'll tell you how you can get some good amount of opportunities out there to trade the next one if vwap is testing a recent swing high approx i am not talking about the exact approx and a swing low it gives even a higher probability in the second half of the day the, you need to understand in the second half of the day vwap at times could be risky by the way how many of you sitting over here have realized that the last 10 15 days at least approximately have been really tough how many of you agree with me how many of you agree with me great 
So this has been tough. In fact, if you are dealing with stock specific in the second half, you might be getting some misleading signals also. It could be VWAP, it could be moving average, it could be anything for that matter. That is definitely giving you some this thing. And don't just apply the traditional methods of buy above VWAP and sell because this is something which is age old. No? Uh, if something is going above VWAP, we are going to buy. If something is going below VWAP, we are going to sell. That is very traditional. So now what we're going to use is the setup, which I'm going to talk about over here, is including two things. First, an alligator. And this alligator doesn't eat you. It will give you profits. And the second one is, of course, the VWAP. We are going to use a mix of uh, a bit of price action, a bit of uh, the alligator, as well as the VWAP. Now, William's alligator was the one who actually introduced the alligator system. So it has got three parts, but all what matters for us is the jawline. I'm going to show you on the screen. Don't worry. We are going to come up on the screen. It is just a smoothed version, smooth version of moving average. So everyone, at some point of time in their careers, must have used a 50-day moving average, 100-day moving average, 200-day, 20-day, 21-day. Everyone has got a different variation. This one, on a 13-day, gives you a very smooth version. It uses three sets, but I use only jaws because <laughs> jaws bite, but that is definitely going to make you money. And uh, as you can see, it is using a 5, 8, and 13 period, which also coincide with the FIBO numbers. So it has got a confluence of both the things into one indicator. And 13 day bar SMMA is basically what it is using. So now let's talk about the setup. So uh, I do understand that a lot of people like to elaborate a lot of things, which is really good. But my style of even uh, making people understand, because I do create YouTube videos, I do create uh, a lot of uh, content occasionally on Twitter and all the other platforms. I try to keep it, brevity is the soul of wit. So I try to keep it very precise. So. First of all, although algos can be set over here, but as I mentioned, I am a discretionary trader, so I try to do it on a discretionary basis. The first parameter for any day trader, irrespective of whatever setup you are facing or you are actually going to work, is the volumes. So volumes are very, 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 very important, very crucial when you are actually going to trade on this particular setup. So ideally, if you are getting a very good high volume, that is 3 to 4x of an average volume, or let's say a 5-day average volume, it is crossing around 3 to 4x, it's actually better. VWAP is something which we are going to use. Alligator, we are going to use. Avoid when not supporting 30, what is it? I'm going to talk about on the screen. Uh, alligator, we are going to do an 30-minute setting, hourly 30-minute setting. VWAP signals we are going to catch on five minute. Target here obviously would be on the basis of risk reward, but we are also going to look on the time based target. How many of you, how many of you so far have ever thought of time based target? How many of you have thought of time based target? Really, right? Santosh ji is a pro, so anyways, <laughs> he has thought. But most of us don't think of time based target. My personal experience is if your setup is giving you an entry, but it is not continuing in the form in which you are anticipating it to go with, it's better to exit. So basically, you can actually fix a time frame. So our particular setup, even if you are keeping like 15 to 20 minutes out there, that's good enough. That's good enough to get an entry as well as exit. And then stop loss would be basis on the VWAP or the candle, whichever is uh, clearer, the breakout candle or the breakdown candle. The best confluence you will get on open is equal to low or open is equal to high, that was going to give you more confidence. For those people who don't know, this is a very basic thing, but I'll just like to repeat it. Whenever a candle is actually forming open is equal to low, that is basically uh, signifying that a lot of buyers are coming into the picture. And whenever it is open is equal to high, that is basically some bigger entities are trying to sell at those levels. So these are the two things which one can actually work on. And if the global queues are supporting, then you will definitely get some faster entries. So how many of you are now ready to look into examples? I need a louder response. How many of you are ready? Great, great. So uh, now I'll go to the screen and I'll try to show it over uh, the screen before we come on to the PPT again. Okay, everyone can see the screen? Everyone can see the screen? At least I can see. Okay. So these are like the very normal candles. Uh, and the very first thing which we are going to do on this setup is we're going to plot a alligator. So alligator is currently available into almost all the prime brokers, all the major brokers. So all you got to do is you go to Williams alligator and you click it. Now you can see three lines over here. Everyone can see the three lines, right? Three smooth versions of moving averages. 
We're not, we are not going to consider every moving average. All we are going to do is, we're going to go on settings, we're going to remove the teeth and lips, because jaw is what matters to us. And for jaws, let's change the color to a darker one, black, and this thing. Now let's first understand the concept. See, uh, for every day trader, what's important is, first, try to identify the trend. And everyone is following a different setup out there. Some people would use uh, higher high, higher lows. Some people will actually try to look into something else. What I'm trying to do is on a 30 minute candle, I'm just trying to ch check how the proper momentum is actually taking place. So let's take an example of Kotec Bank for the day. So very simple, very simple. Our setup qualifies, listen carefully. Our setup qualifies only when the candle on 30 minutes is above alligator. Is it clear to everyone? First pair. Is it clear? Great. So the first thing, so is Kotak Bank above the alligator for the day? Yes or no? It is above, correct? So the first thing is qualified. The next thing, now the easiest part. Once you have seen this thing on 30 minutes, we actually come down to a lower frame. And the lower frame is five minutes. And what we got to do is, we're gonna put up our favorite VWAP. Okay. Everyone can see now the VWAP has been plotted. This one which is going, this is VWAP. Now, it looks very easy over here. But see, there are two, three pointers which you need to consider. How many of you remember in the presentation I mentioned that if you are getting an open is equal to low or open is equal to high, that is increasing your probability, correct? I'd mentioned that on the presentation. If you're getting an open is equal to low, open is equal to high, this is giving you this thing. Some might argue that, okay, it is open is equal to low. Again, there is a VWAP breakout out there, but then it is trying to fall down below. Correct? Everyone can see this thing. It's quite evident. That's not the trade which you're going to take. First rule, always remember, only a very trained professional is capable enough to enter at the first tick. When I'm talking about a 915 tick, it's very difficult for most majority of the people to enter because to gauge that sentiment for a normal person, it becomes really very difficult. Yes, once you have certain experience, if your setup is built up around that, that makes sense. Otherwise, it becomes difficult. In any case, even if you had entered in the first candle, aren't we getting an exit in the second candle? Yes or no? Let's assume you enter. Are you getting an exit in the second candle? Yes or no? Yes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for it to cross the VWAP. So first wait for the 30 minute candle. Why? Because the alligator, we have to wait and watch where the alligator is breaking out. So till previous day, alligator hadn't broken out. So on a 30 minute candle, when Kotak Bank actually closed above the alligator, which we actually saw, and when VWAP is also below the candles, that is the candles are going above it, don't you think we're getting double confluence? Yes or no? Everyone, are we getting double confidence? Yes? So basically what we are trying to do is, on a 30 minute candle, we are taking a confirmation through alligator, and then we are actually trying to enter based on our five minute thing on VWAP. Sounds simple, yes or no? Louder, yes or no? Yo, amazing. So the thing is, we talked about just one example out today. Let's take a few more examples so that it becomes very clear for most of the people. And mind you, I won't be taking much time of you people. So let's take an example, Bharat Forge. So the first thing which we are going to do is, we are going to go on the 30 minute candle. Can we see it is below alligator? Everyone, 30 minute candle, and it's not just like today. It is since yesterday, it is below this thing. So anyone who is trying to create a watch list around this thing, that person, if he has been, he or she has been tracking Bharat Forge for quite a while, that person could have easily kept Bharat Forge on the watch list. That's the first thing. The second thing, now let's look around what happened on the intraday basis so that we understand where do we get the signal. So let's say we got a signal at the very first candle, although it was not open is equal to high, which would have created a confluence, but on the second candle, our two conditions are getting met. Everyone can see this thing? So below VWAP, on 30 minutes, it's already below alligator, time-based target, a 15 to 20 minute thing, and you could have easily 
you can call it a scalp or you can say because scalp technically would be lower than 20 minutes so I, I wouldn't call it a technical scalp but yes kind of short trade quickly a 10 15 minute thing your stop loss would be entry candles high or the vwap whichever is closer the entry candle high or with or vwap which is closer so you know what is the beauty about the setup this setup is fairly simple it is giving you a confluence of two things first on a 30 minute frame you're getting already a confirmation about the entries or exits second if you get an open low open high that is going to enhance your probability of taking up the trade and the third thing when you come on to the lower time frame somehow you have already done a multi time frame analysis because you were doing on a 30 minute now you are down to five minute let's take one or two more examples before we understand this thing completely so another example would be let's say Bajaj finance for the day I'm actually going by 30 minutes below the alligator it has already given a signal and also look into this thing today if you really look into the markets obviously the markets have been tough for the last 10 15 days in fact a lot of my stop losses are also getting hit over the last two three days but what i've realized is that once you stick to a setup you try to understand in and out there's a high probability you understand the emotions behind it and you understand how to execute it in this particular thing 30 minutes had already given you a signal that yes it is actually going below this thing and then based on the five minute candle you could have initiated a trade and this is precisely on bajaj finance also we got a trade over here 15 to 20 minutes you could have done this thing now some are, some of you might be asking why are we are taking on the second candle shouldn't we wait shouldn't we do a lot of things why didn't we wait because alligator had already given a signal on the previous day so already because on 30 minutes start it was below this thing so then we switched into five minutes to take the trade so we are taking our view based on 30 minutes candle and we are going to take a trade on the basis of five minute candle to make you understand it further quickly, two, three, four examples out there and some false signals also. Aurobindo Pharma, this is again today, 30 minutes, already it was below the alligator which is showing a weakness into the stock. Five minutes, we are actually getting into this thing. This is particularly when it actually gave you a breakdown, but then this is where the stop loss gets hit. Can somebody tell me why the stop loss is getting hit over here? Any ideas? This particular candle, everyone can see this thing, right? What could be the reason? Went above the jaw and moreover went above the VWAP. We are just keeping it because if we have to trail, we are keeping it over the VWAP or the entry candle high. In this case, both have been breached. Even though it further came down, but we need to stick with the rule. If it is cut down, you just exit that position. If there was a manual trader that person could have saved if that person is constantly monitoring is not putting up the stop loss into the system there is a possibility that person might survive but in my opinion that is a breach of rule you should have exited you could have entered again in that case but Auro Pharma did hit the stop loss if we are talking about this thing then we have MNM finance again MNM finance uh, if I go under 30 minutes 30 minutes is already giving a signal because it was below the alligator we go to the five minute thing and five minute uh, even on the second candle if you are a professional first candle might do but again in 10 15 minutes you are getting a decent point sale again the kind of same thing which has happened over here 30 minutes the breakdown and now this is a beauty okay if if on the same particular day you are getting good amount of volumes plus it is breaking the alligator plus it is breaking the vwap you will have more confidence on pyramiding also. If you want to hold it for some longer period of time, you have more confidence out there. So in nutshell, what we are trying to do is a very simple setup on 30 minutes. First, we are looking into alligator jaw. Second, what we are looking into is a decent size volume. Three to four X is a very decent size of volume if you're getting. If you're not getting, you still get trades, but if you're getting that is more favorable. Open high, open low is going to add a spice into the life and you are going to get further opportunities out there. And finally, your stop loss is above the candle entry and or it is just above the VWAP. Is it clear so far? Yes or no? Everyone, is it clear so far? Great, great. So, uh, so you have a question or it's clear? Clear, clear, Gummy. amazing. So, uh, boss, PPT. PPT, PPT. So, after we have looked into some examples, it's very important to understand a few psychological aspects also out there because unless uh, uh, what I always say, in fact, this is something which I've experienced in my life that uh, trading is just 20% of the technicals, no matter what we do, it's all about psychological risk management. That is precisely what is going to make the entire difference. So a stop loss 
everyone needs to have into the system as we talked about the oro pharma example because if you're not putting that into the system there's a high possibility one fine day it all takes one day to ruin your entire pnl and everything so one fine day you might end up into trouble so it's better to keep this thing because it is shielding you from unexpected this thing don't trade try to fix some rules for yourself i've seen in life majority of the people who have reached the pinnacle of their own careers they have set up their own rules it could be army men it could be sportsmen ronaldo it could be even uh, fitness freaks like one of us is sitting over there so everyone has got certain rules in life you really got to make certain rules for yourself for this thing so don't trade after three back to back losses so let's say if you had traded oro pharma today and let's assume there were two more losses two more stop losses you should stop trading right away next don't trade with a described setup in fno unless you have a 3 lakh capital see it becomes very convenient for all of us to come on this podium and talk about a lot of strategies and everything but unless we clarify the amount of capital which is required it becomes really very wrong for us on our part now you must be wondering we can do this on uh, cash right abhishek yes you can do for practices you can even start with 10000 a capital as low as 10000 but the reason why i put up a 3 lakh rupees is so that you have decent amount of margin left you have decent amount of chips out left and please make sure even if you have 3 lakh rupees in your account you don't over trade in the sense you over leverage that yes now i have 3x uh, 3 lakh i'll go like a 4x leverage that is 12 lakh no don't do try, uh, try to do that if it is 3 lakh trade with only 1 lakh that's the main agenda next don't trade when you have a fight with your wife so this is very important because psychologically you become into a troubled state when you had a fight you had a conflict with everyone anyone for that matter when you are not in the right state of mind it does affect the trades and most of the seasoned and professional traders would agree with this thing that whenever they are not in the right frame of mind that does affect your usi ke liye aapko carnivals mein aana padega taki idhar aap shanti se kar sako करवा चौथ पे नहीं हो गया संतोष जी आपकी बात अलग है यार हाँ वो एक अलग से रिजॉर्ट बनाना पड़ेगा सो दिस इज अ गुड आइडिया समवन कैन एक्चुअली वर्क अपॉन इट आई आई बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट एज वेल सो अच्छा ठीक है यार वो वाला पॉइंट को मिस आउट कर देते वाइफ के साथ लड़ लो नहीं देर इज अ सोल्यूशन ना सो द सोल्यूशन इज इफ यू आर अ फाइट विथ योर वाइफ इमीडिएटली गो आउट फॉर शॉपिंग एंड देन कम टू ट्रेड दैट इज द सोल्यूशन रिस्क मैनेजमेंट <laughs> then the next thing is avoid low liquid stocks so any stock uh, so my personal suggestion would be only work with nifty 200 stocks don't go beyond that because the liquidity issues would be there there would be sudden spike sudden volatility sudden hiccups out there you can stick around the fno stocks itself and in fno also i would so this is my experience try to avoid stocks like mrf maruti because you suddenly get some weird spikes out there and that can mess around with your stop losses so don't touch these uh, which don't have good spreads out there avoid bank stocks so in fno you always get once the 90% 95% limit is done you get bank stocks try to avoid those things and you don't have to trade every day so for example there is a very fundamental rule if i'm traveling which i'm traveling for most of my time if i'm traveling a lot i don't take heavy positions in fact if i know i'm into a place where i may not get right internet connection i might not even trade so this is something really important that you don't trade every day and that was it from my end if you have any questions i am open for it yeah someone is sitting in acha it is it kapil bhai kapil bhai you have a question ha 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 puche puche can somebody help him with a mic ha to target is time based usually you can go one is to two that you will easily get into most of the situations but mine is like go with time based uh, 15 to 20 minutes is a decent time that's it don't put it for like the entire day unless you have a different setup which is complementary to it so for me there is another setup which often gives me a confluence that okay ye cheez ho rahi hai jaise i told you when alligator plus the same thing is happening on the same day plus volumes are higher it is giving you a higher confluence so i think it happened with some bank uh, a few days back to ye cheez ho rahi hai to aap kar sakte ho otherwise try to ignore Yes there was a question from behind can somebody help him with a mic Yaar dekho to be honest this is a discretionary system so you cannot actually go and just back test because there is candle formation you have to check around this thing but mostly what i've used is you get around 55 to 60% which i find is okay i i don't have a 90% strategy but 
55 to 60 is like a decent thing. So what, what I've realized is, uh, so just because to add on to this thing, if you're trading this particular setup, as long as, uh, you know, there is a correlation, if the VIX is not going very weird at some point of time, then it's fine. If the VIX goes little haywired, then it might give you some hiccups out there. Ah, yeah, yeah. What, what, pardon? No, no, so 30 minutes, pe what we are trying to do is, hum sirf alligator laga we are only plotting alligator, even if it is breaking on previous day or even on the same day, it gives us an entry. This 30 day minute candle could be from previous day also. It could be on the previous day, it could be two days behind also. So let's say there is a stock which is trending down, okay? okay. And three days back, it actually broke down before the alligator. And today we are getting decent amount of volumes plus VWAP breakdown plus open is equal to high. That increases our probability. Can you confirm that initial stop loss is the uh, VWAP? VWAP or the pre the candle entry candle high, whichever is closer in terms of selling and in terms of buying the low of that candle. Yeah. Okay. And for the VIP show, you have any things? So VIP shows we saw in Auro Pharma. Mm -hmm. We just exit. It's on the system. Okay. We just exit. I personally, because publicly it doesn't look good to say, I actually wait for the candle close. It doesn't look good. But then maybe because I have that experience to tackle around with this situation, but coming publicly and saying that, no, just wait for the candle. You never know. Suddenly there could be a candle and it could go anywhere. Because this has happened. I remember if you would have used the similar setup in 2019 or something in InfiBeam or DHFL for that matter, one fine candle can ruin everything. Sun, tuck and tuck. So it's very, in any case, in that also, if you go, you guys go on the back chart and if you see, once it was below the team and alligator and below VWAP, you could have, but by that time a lot of damage was done. So it was very risky because VWAP was far away in that kind of case. So in my case, I would suggest everyone to put a stop loss into the system. It's very important. And if price is uh, below VWAP, uh, mm -hmm. below the job for say 20, okay. 20, 30 days, okay. is it advised to take this one? If uh, it is below jaw. For the last 20 days. It, it is advisable, but then it's better to look for a double confluence of open high in that okay. case. Okay. Yeah. Because what happens is already three days have passed, so you never know suddenly there could be a recovery. So that I would suggest, and see, uh, Santosh ji, what happens is in a particular day, we have 200 stocks out there approximately, which are d having decent liquidity. If you are finding something which is just one day wala system, that is just a previous day or today, that will give you a higher confluence. If not, it, it's fine to go with, but get into like open high, open low, that will give you a better confluence. Or trading view means scanner ka bana rahe ho? Haan, bana dije, bilkul, humko humare saath bhi share kare. Sure, sure, sure. Someone was having a question out there, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's coming. Uh, first, let me take his question, then I'll take your question. Uh, hello, sir. Hello. Uh, sir, my question is, this uh, means that the trade will get in the initial market hours, in the start of the first half an hour. Absolutely. Because in the second half and onwards, our VWAP will be distant, so we will not get trade. Absolutely. Is bilkul. it clear? Absolutely. So, it is difficult to find, you know, uh, I mean, which stock is set up, so how to so counter this? So, there are two or three ways. First, if you don't want to spend money, you make a scanner in the chart, take a scanner and take an alligator. Wala. First of all, you will get a scan from there. Not just charting, there are others, so I'm not promoting any uh, this thing. Uh, pe bhi aap bana sakte ho, that is one. If you can do it, some people can do it with their own tools. I mean, if someone knows the technical part, they can actually create a tool for a watch list and everything. The third thing is, in a lot of times, what will you get? For example, we were discussing a few stocks. Alligator had set up one day before. So, you can keep them in your watch list. So, I will suggest you to do one more thing. If you have a set up for yourself, which you use for scanning to look into strength or weakness, this will be an add-on. Let's say, if Bharat Forge is also showing you in your case, Plus, this is the setup. Now you have more confidence. Uh, now uh, he was asking a question. Yeah, yeah, uh, he's giving the mic. So you had a condition in your setup 23x the volume. So which volume are you considering as the best? Five day average volume is something which we should actually look. That increases your confluence level to a next level. That's, that's what you can actually look. Five day average volume of a uh, 30 minute volume? No, 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 of the daily, daily. Of the day, but daily. At the, uh, in the morning, how would that volume be formed? What, what? 
in the morning there are a lot of cases so for example yeah. if you remember uh, a day before yesterday or two three days back there was some news because of which a stock actually went down by 11 percent 10 11 percent right. so you will get these kind of opportunities that see when i'm saying open is equal to high open is equal to low and when i'm talking about this volume criteria yeah. this is something which is going to give you confluence and i'll give you another one uh, so let's take an example you are talking about the volume part yeah. So, uh, I don't remember if we have that website anymore. There is something called Fatafat Stock Screener. I don't know whether it exists anymore. What are? So, he is giving this thing. It's there. So, there are so many people who have built it on Excel. So, what they try to do is, Usme 3 day and 5 day, ka, you have an option where you can scan and you can actually look from top to bottom. Hmm. A lot of times you will find that there is a 30% 30 30 spike on the previous 3-4 day volume, 40%. See, it will take the entire day to get that complete overview. But even if you are getting like 30, 40, 50%, Three to four x during at that point of time, you get a decent entry out there. Okay, so you're saying in the first candle itself, there's a possibility of the volume. There is a high possibility. It won't occur every day. Yeah, it yeah, won't yeah. occur every day. Yeah. But yes, there is a high possibility. high possibility. Specifically, when there are some news-based kind of things, which I really don't recommend that every day you should trade. Sure. But yes, on the news-based kind of things, you might get this thing on. Like RBL Bank, if you remember, they were back to back at one point of time. You were getting a lot of signals to uh, short sell it over there. So you were getting some opportunity. All yes. Right. Thank you. Welcome. Anyone else who has question? I think so. Kapil ji was having uh, the question, but Mike unke pas paunch nahi para. Okay then, uh, Kapil bhai, aap alag se question pooch lena, hai na? <laughs> Okay. So thank you so much. Uh, you had been lovely audience. Thank you so much. Thank you.
So how, how the session's been so far? You would like to, by show of hands. Nice, very nice. So we are going to have more interesting sessions throughout the next two days as well, apart from the sessions, remaining sessions today. And uh, any feedback you have, any thoughts you have on how we can help improve upon the offerings at Traders Carnival, please tell us. We are very receptive to ideas, to thoughts, to suggestions, critical or whatever, it doesn't matter. So for South Indians, we have a pretty thick skin. So you can share whatever thoughts and inputs you have with, uh, with us. And we're going to uh, start the next session with uh, Siddharth Manushali. And uh, please welcome Siddharth Manushali. He's going to be talking about um, trading with market volatility. Awesome. So can you hear my voice loud and clear? All good? Chalo, great. Fantastic. So before I start, I want to promise you one thing. That ek ghante baad, aapke pocket mein, in dimag mein, ek strategy hoga, jo aap log kal se execute kar paoge. That's my promise. Sounds good? Chalo, fantastic. Mujhe ek bar aapka ek haath upar karke dikhao, left wala everyone. Show me your left hand, show me your left hand. Everyone, show me your left hand. Very good. Now show me your right hand. Chalega, great. Because I'm going to ask you a lot. And until you don't go up on your hand, I'm not going to go up on your hand. So that's the problem. Uh, so uh, uh, before I start, I want to thank DJ and Rekha ma'am for organizing all this, calling all of us for this great session. So thank you, thank you so much for that. <laughs> Apart from that, uh, before I start, but Hindi English is fine. Do know Hindi? Hindi is fine. Very good. Anybody who don't understand Hindi, absolutely. Oh, we have one or two people. Chalo, great. I will, I will mix it up a bit with English, but Hindi English is okay, right? Mix. Chalo, great. So, before I start, two minute story, how it all started. Market kahan se aya, YouTube kahan se aya, kaisi sari cheeze. So basically, when I was in 9th or 10th, one of my family member took money from my family, kareeb kareeb, 30 lakh rupay. So maasi se, bua se, mere dad se, 30 lakh rupay family se liye. And that 30 lakh become one and a half crore rupees in six months. That fascinated me and that brought me into the market. And then uske baad mein wo dead crore zero ho gaya ek mahine ke andar. That was my final entry, ki apne ko bhi kuch aisa bada karne ka hai. Huh? So that was the humble beginnings. I dad ko ja ke bola, I want to trade, so he gave me 5,000 rupees. He said, apna DMAT account mat khol time hai, mere me trade kar le. So Gujarati family, stock market mein pehle se kuch na kuch hamesha tha, trading, investing, ye wo. So college ke jo 5 saal rahe, वो तो कभी बाय कभी सेल कभी न्यूज़ कभी न्यूज़पेपर कभी सीएनबीसी कभी मनी कंट्रोल कभी ये कभी वो उसमें गए कॉलेज के बाद में किताबें मेहनत हार्ड वर्क एंड सम हाउ आई वाज स्टक विद टेक्निकल एनालिसिस के इससे ही कुछ करना है यू वांट टू नो द बिग रीजन फॉर दैट व्हाई टेक्निकल एनालिसिस बिकॉज़ आई हैव डिसलेक्सिया so, I didn't have any possibility of maths, accounts, economics, so this color is going to go up the blue line, the blue line is going down, the blue line is going down, the blue line is going down, red, pink line is going down, it's going to be fun. So, we will make money, we will make money with this. So, that was a start in stock market, that was a start in technical analysis. At that time, there was no YouTube. So, a lot of books, a lot of seminars, a lot of workshops, a lot of day and night practice. Today, there is an espresso here. So, I remember that at that time, there was no one, but Sher Khan was the main broker with Express. So, Sher Khan's terminal is closed at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm not sure how many people know about it. So, I had to trade the whole night, then after 3.30, I had to test the back test, then I had to test the back test, then at 5 o'clock, terminal is closed, then you can sleep. Because at that time, there was no investing.com trading view. So it was the only stuff which I had. Then at 9 o'clock, Pradeep came here, which is my brother here. So he came and said, brother, you're standing in the position. At 9 o'clock, at 9 o'clock, I'm standing in 2 minutes. At 9 o'clock, 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 at 9 o'clock. 
again started trading is tarike se uh, we started in do markets we started that struggle and pain and everything long story cut short uh, abhi right now we manage our own money we manage few people's portfolio we are doing big we are doing great apart from that youtube पे हमारा चैनल है जहाँ पे शायद आप लोग में से कुछ लोगों ने वीडियो देखे होंगे एंड एनी वन ऑफ यू सीन माय वीडियो 44 फोर मूविंग एवरेज ऑन यूट्यूब वन ऑफ टू पीपल वी नीड टू वर्क मोर देन सो सो दैट्स गोइंग गुड अराउंड नाइन एंड नाइन नाइन एंड हाफ लैक्स सब्सक्राइबर सो वो चल रहा है ओके सो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विथ माई planned presentation i want to ask you how many of you are beginner how many of you are intermediate and how many of you are advanced so i can speak accordingly B beginner okay intermediate most of the room very good and advanced great so let's let's stick with intermediate type of zone for next one hour so we started at around 7 we will complete it by 8 then we can have lunch राइट ऑल स्टार्ट ग्रेट सो अगले पचास मिनट में मैं आपको दिखाऊंगा कि एक्चुअली पैसा कैसे बनाते हैं यू कैन यूज दिस स्ट्रैटेजी और एनी ऑफ योर स्ट्रैटेजी बट यू विल गेट इन माई माइंड सेट एंड माई थॉट प्रोसेस के हम लोग सोचते कैसे है फॉर श्योर आई प्रोमिस यू दैट निफ्टी यहाँ पे मुझे दे दो नॉट पी पी डी आई आई वॉन्ट जस्ट यहाँ का निफ्टी आई ऑन दिस पी पी डी back very good fantastic so basically this is nifty ka chart this is this is nifty ka chart ye kya hai nifty ka chart hai nifty ke chart pe ek moving average hai yahan pe koi hai jisko ye nahi pata ki moving average kya hota hai anyone like this okay perfect so i don't need to explain this is moving average and this is 44 moving average which moving average that kid shouted louder than you maybe <laughs> come on everyone this is which moving average 44 moving average agar aapke paas laptop hai to aap chalu kar lijiye nahi hai to kisi laptop wale ke sath mein baith jaiye if you have laptop to aap chalu kar lijiye nahi hai to aap kisi laptop wale ke sath baith jaiye if you have laptop then switch it, uh, uh, switch it on if you don't have then be with someone who has laptop aapka chair change kar lo table change kar lo so you can see something what i speak great so jo main bolne wala hu it will sound pretty it will sound pretty basic but that makes money i will repeat what i will speak will sound pretty basic but it will make money so basically jab bhi aapka moving average starting from this phase rising hai what's your job aapko market mein buy position mein rehna hai ya short mein rehna hai bye bye thoda extra pilana hai inko agar moving average rising hai to aapko buy position mein rehna hai ya short position mein rehna hai बाय पोजीशन में रहना है अगर ये फेज में हमारा मूविंग एवरेज राइजिंग है सो अवर जॉब इज टू बाय एनी इंस्ट्रूमेंट डजेंट मैटर निफ्टी है या बैंक निफ्टी है या स्टॉक है या कमोडिटी है या क्रिप्टो करेंसी है या ऑप्शन है मेक सेंस अपार्ट फ्रॉम उसके बाद में वेन इज फॉलोइंग वॉट इज अवर जॉब अवर जॉब इज टू शॉर्ट द मार्केट whether it's options whether it's futures whether it's intraday whether it's commodity whether it's currency whether it's nifty bank nifty stock doesn't matter 5 minute 15 minute daily weekly doesn't matter so when it's falling our job is to short the market and again when it's rising our job is to buy the market yes or no this is pretty simple then uske bawajood bhi हमें ये पता है ना एम श्योर आप लोग को इसके पहले पता होगा मैं अभी एक्सप्लेन किया उससे पहले यस और नो यू ऑलरेडी न्यू दिस गुड सो माय क्वेश्चन इज दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इजीएस्ट एंड सिंपलेस्ट मैनर टू मेक मनी माय क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मेनी पीपल रियली अप्लाई दिस एंड मेक मनी इन मार्केट ऑन अ कंसिस्टेंट बेसिस दिस इज वेरी सिंपल दिस इज वेरी सिंपल 
Yes, sir. Yes. 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 So, जब तक ये शेप चेंज नहीं करता है विजुअली तब तक वी आर इन अप ट्रेंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द करेंट सिनेरियो एज ऑफ नाउ एम ऑडिबल Yes. So it is turning and uh, it is visible Which stock? now. Which stock? Uh, for Nifty only. Nifty only. Yeah. Nifty But daily dikha da. Okay, wait. So basically, this is Nifty weekly chart, and for me, this is still not a rising moving average. I still, I am not aggressively buying Nifty. Problem is, we don't want to miss this trend. Is that is the problem? Uh, sometimes we miss some uh, genuine moves itself 100% we will miss so see our job in market is to capture something that something is different for everyone for me 30% in a year or something is good enough so if simply if we stick to any basic system this is just a 44 moving average le lo ya 50 moving average le lo koi zyada farak nahi padne wala hai so 44 ya 50 At the end of the day, we want to capture 25 stakka in a market. 25 stakka is very less. 25 to 30 stakka is very less to capture. So, ye miss karne se farak nahi padne wala hai. Ye miss kar diya to kahin pe B E L A, jo aapko buy mil gaya, Axis Bank hai aapko buy mil gaya. There is there will be something you will get buy on time. Koi chiz late hogi, koi chiz jaldi milegi. If there is a few stock which you will miss like this, but there will be few stock which you will get. so this is most simplest thing to buy to trade which is moving average rising hai to buy karna hai falling hai to short karna hai i'll show you few stocks aap log mujhe naam batao shout it out loudly any stock sale s a i l sale s a i l wait 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 i'll i'll come i'll come to that yes i'll come to you so yahan pe ye moving average rising chal raha hai till that time my job is to buy sell agar ye moving average falling hai my job is to short sell despite of my time frame kahan pe karna hai is a new question which we will talk today कौन सी जगह पे बाय करना है उसपे मैं आया नहीं हूं सिर्फ निफ्ट कोई पर्टिकुलर स्टॉक हमें बाय करना है या सेल करना है इतना क्लियर हो जाए वी कैन मेक लॉर्ड ऑफ मनी इन दैट इट सेल्फ एंड हमें इतना तो पता ही है कि टाटा मोटर अच्छी कंपनी है रतन टाटा 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 मोटर कभी ना कभी चलेगा आई कभी ना कभी चलेगा एशियन पेंट्स कभी ना कभी चलेगा वी नो ऑल दिस बेसिक नेम्स एवरी वन ये नो सो so, मैं बोल रहा हूँ ये बेसिक नाम पकड़ो जो आपको टिप मिलती है जो लॉजिक लगता है जो एकदम बेसिक स्टॉक जो पता है कि ये चलेगा उस पर एक एवरेज लगा के रख दो जब तक राइजिंग है तब तक राइट लोकेशन पे बाय करते रहो दैट्स दैट ट्रेडिंग इज नॉट दैट डिफिकल्ट मैम जो यहाँ पर आके एक्सप्लेन uh, कर रहे थे स्ट्रैटेजीज दैट इज वॉट शी वॉज टेलिंग दैट इट्स ईजी सिंपल सिस्टम This is absolutely simple, and देख के ऐसा लगेगा भी क्या पैसा बनेगा Yes, पीछे uh, question था I'll take that question and then I'll move forward, sir. Yes, yes. sir. Hi, I didn't get your name, Siddharth, right? Yes, yes. Okay, Siddharth. So I have two basic questions. So I've yes. been trading since sixteen years now, and uh, <laughs> so a little bit, you know, you get to know in sixteen years. So just wanted to ask you two questions. What is the logic of forty-four? Have you back tested, or you have some data to support why you're using 44? Yeah. So uh, answering back test 44, 50, 34 is not the point. No, no. See, it makes a difference on what kind of moving. If you use a eight here, or use a five here, or a three here, or you use a sixty here, all of them will have a different reaction to the price at that particular point of time. So, why did you pick up 44? Is there any logic, or is just that you like the number? No, it's that's where we end up after 
checking few averages, maybe 30, 34, 34 is a Fibonacci number. So 34, 44, 54, no, 54 is not a Fibonacci number. No, no, 34 is Fibonacci number. 3, 4, 34 is Fibonacci number. Yeah. So after testing these things, we concluded that 44 is good. So based on our own analysis. Fair enough. So 44 is what kind of a back test did you do to ascertain that over what period this would work? This, this we checked for lot of stuff not on Excel visually. It's a, it's a more of a visual concept than a Excel. That's what I said. Here when turn hoga, it's a visual concept. Market is a visual concept. So fair not, enough. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Algo. So no Excel. So see back testing does not even happen on Algo for indicator base. You can do Excel based back testing. Because unless when you're trading in real life markets using just a simple average moving average to trade you know, you need to have a very, very specific rule based entry exit criteria and you have to be very dexterous while doing a single moving average on a volatile instrument or an instrument with a high beta or with a high volume. So when you say 44 and I understand markets, uh, you know, come price comes down or goes up and it slopes and everything. Do you have any rule based specific criteria for entry and exit on this? Yes. So I was in stock selection. Pe hi tha. That was what I was telling. This, this is just a Koi particular instrument ko buy karna hai ke short karna hai. Entry I will come after this. Okay. Entry, stop loss, exit I will come after this. This is still now I am just on a ke ye instrument ko kya karna hai. And when you say that you visually checked, so over how many stocks or periods would you have visually checked for 44? 1600 stocks, every each and every stocks in NSE it will work. Okay, so over 1600 stocks, you found that 44 was working better than a 34 and a 54. Again, that's what I said. It's not about 44 and 34. You can take 34, you can take 54, you can take 64. Average is not the secret. Discipline, maintaining the one moving average throughout is the point. No, I, I think it would make a difference. Yeah. But any, anyways, thank you. Yeah. Again, I'll say. 44, 34, 54, I will leave it up to you. Abhishek also said when he came on the stage that technical is 20%. Risk management psychology is the game. So any moving average, number doesn't matter. 44 or 34, 54 lelo. Any moving average, I'm using 44. Huh? I'll, I'll come to you, I'll come to you. So next talk. But is this applicable for across all the time frames or a particular time frame? I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Make you and a pa uske pehle kuch stocks check kar lo. Maruti. Perfect. So this is Maruti. And you think that the Maruti is a good company, the Maruti is running, so the Maruti is running until it is running, until it is running, when it starts to turn, then we have to leave Maruti. Yes. Guma. Current market. No, current market. Current market. Current market. Current market. So if this shape is rising, if this is rising, that is my buying market. Yes. 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 Perfect. 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 We don't have to. Fall. I mean, we don't know. 2016, that market would be rosy because Modi ji was there. Everything was going up. Perfect. So if you do show the picture, show the current last one year data, two years data. Perfect. That last, will give the right picture. Last one year, ni current market ka check kar lete yahan pe. Yeah. So isme so many. Jo bhi check kar rahe ho, current market ka check kar lo. We would hmm? advise that. Yeah. Current market, if it is rising properly, agar ye sab chops ho rahe, if it's coming down, how do? If it's how do coming you, down, if do? it's coming down, after it will happen. After it will happen, you will realize it is chopping the market. That's not your stock. You need clean movement wala stock. No, Agar so, clean so, stock so, chal raha hai, and that's the whole point of this topic that my topic is how to trade in volatile market. So, so when NSC, Nifty, extremely choppy, hai, tab kya karna hai? and that's the whole talk so, is all about. So give me the answer. Yes. On Jan 2022, what will be your take? Jan 22 on this chart. Jan 22? Yeah, here. So it's a rising. This Correct. is my avoid stock. I want clear trade. I want clear trends. 
सो अगर मूविंग एवरेज इस तरीके से ये ऊपर नीचे जा रहा है देन व्हाई वी हैव टू ट्रेड दिस वी वांट सम स्टॉक वेयर देयर इज अ क्लियर ट्रेड ओके सो लेट्स गो बैक टू 2016 एंड व्हाई यू गोना टेक लेट्स गो बैक टू 2016 यस या 2016 बिफोर दैट इट वाज अ कंफ्यूज व्हाई शुड आई टेक अ चार्ज देयर या यहां पे भी यहां पे भी ट्रेड नहीं होगा हाँ. ये एक बार ये इस तरीके का क्लियर ट्रेंड शुरू हो गया देन हाँ. आवर ट्रेड विल स्टार्ट So, ये okay. ये जब क्लियर ट्रेंड है देन ट्रेडिंग विल स्टार्ट ओके टिल द टाइम वी डोंट गेट क्लियरिटी ऑन अ ट्रेंड विजुअली ओके देयर कैन नॉट बी अ ट्रेडिंग ओके सो लेट्स कीप दिस एज अ बेंचमार्क एंड लेट्स फाइंड आउट द ट्रेड हियर हम या ओके सो राइट नाउ वी आर नॉट आइडेंटिफाई द ट्रेड वी आर सेइंग दिस इज अ वन ऑफ द कैंडिडेट व्हिच वी आर हैप्पी टू कंसीडर यस मेरे को निफ्टी अब डेली चार्ट दे दो डेली चार्ट दे दो डेली और ये साल का डेटा दिखा दो करंट मार्केट परफेक्ट एंड दिस वाज द होल पॉइंट ऑफ दिस स्टॉक देन पिछले एक साल में हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू फेल्ट डिफिकल्ट टू ट्रेड स्विंग ट्रेडिंग एंड पोजिशनल ट्रेडिंग ऑन एन एस सी स्टॉक्स पिछला एक साल दैट वाज अ चौपी मार्केट दैट वाज अ डिफिकल्ट मार्केट टू ट्रेड वॉट सर वॉज टेलिंग सो वेन यू हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ मार्केट यहाँ तक एक क्लियरिटी मिल जाता है कि दिस इज नॉट अ ट्रेंडिंग इजी मार्केट यहाँ पे टॉप पे नहीं यहाँ पे मिलेगा क्लियरिटी दिस इज नॉट अ इजी ट्रेंडिंग मार्केट एवरीवन ओके हियर वी विल गेट दैट क्लियरिटी कि दिस इज नॉट अ इजी ट्रेंडिंग मार्केट दिस इज अवर टाइम टू फाइंड ट्रेंड समवेयर एल्स फिर से बोल रहा हूँ ध्यान से सुनना This is our time to find trend somewhere else. अगर ये नहीं चल रहा है तो कुछ तो ऐसा होगा जो चल रहा होगा स्मूथ एन एस सी में ट्रेड करना कंपल्सरी नहीं है देर वी कैन ट्रेड इन कमोडिटीज वेन यू फाइंड स्टॉक स्पेसिफिक्स नहीं चल रहे हैं एन एस सी नहीं चल रहे हैं आई एम नॉट अ ऑप्शन स्टेडल ट्रेडर के हर मार्केट में आई कैन ट्रेड एन एस सी सो मेरे को इजी ट्रेंड चाहिए ट्रेड करने के लिए जो अभी मैं बात कर रहा था आई वॉन्ट क्लियर मूविंग एवरेज राइजिंग अगर यहां नहीं है तो कहीं पे तो होगा हेलो अगर यहां नहीं है तो कहीं पे तो होगा जहां मिलेगा वहां करेंगे नहीं मिलेगा तो नहीं करेंगे सिटिंग आइडियल इज वन ऑफ द स्ट्रैटेजी not trading for few days is one of the strategy not trading for maybe two one or two month is one of the strategy so when we find this kind of difficult market in nsc you can find something in commodity maybe something gold is trending maybe crude oil is trending maybe aluminum is trending maybe silver is trending maybe natural gas is trending somewhere there is a trend and i want you to check in your laptop that jab ye pichla ek saal pichle 6 mahine nifty mein extreme high volatility tha wo time pe kahan pe trend tha in commodities gold you can check so you will find ke usme trend tha ke nahi tha agar clear nahi dikhta hai piche karo thoda ye dikhao 21 okay wait So, अगर मुझे ये अपसाइड क्लियर दिख रहा है विजुअली इट्स क्लियर पीछे और करो मेरे को डाउन ट्रेंड देखना है क्लियर डाउन ट्रेंड दिस इज क्रैश ये नहीं आ, ये दिखा दो मुझे टाटा मोटर बाजू में बेटर हाँ ये मुझे क्लियर डाउन ट्रेंड दिख रहा है एवरीवन क्लियर डाउन ट्रेंड दिख रहा है आई वॉन्ट समथिंग लाइक दिस हमें चौपी वोलेटिलिटी मार्केट अगर है एन में इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी वी हैव टू स्टिक विथ अवर निफ्टी और वी हैव टू स्टिक विथ अवर स्टॉक स्पेसिफिक जहां पे मुश्किल हो रही है चेक गोल्ड चेक सिल्वर चेक क्रूड ऑयल चेक नेचुरल गैस चेक एल्यूमिनियम चेक करके मुझे बताओ कहीं पे कुछ क्लियर इजी ट्रेंड है कि नहीं है क्रूड क्रूड सिल्वर गोल्ड यहाँ पे मुझे लिख के दे दो ना एक बार टेक्स ले लो ये टेक्स ले लो यहाँ पे यहाँ पे यहाँ पे लिख दो क्रूड ऑयल 
गोल्ड सिल्वर क्रूड ऑयल गोल्ड सिल्वर नेचुरल गैस एल्यूमिनियम इसके बाद में एंटर मार दो सिल्वर के बाद में बेसिकली ये कमोडिटीज के पीछे लॉजिक सिंपल है इनमें लिक्विडिटी होती है कुछ कमोडिटीज में लिक्विडिटी नहीं होती है दैट्स द होल लॉजिक बिहाइंड दिस आई विल गिव यू टू मिनट्स थ्री मिनट्स टू चेक क्रूड एंड नेचुरल गैस में क्लियर ट्रेंड है परफेक्ट Gold was absolutely choppy. Silver was also choppy. Perfect. Zinc में है, okay. So अब वहाँ पे जहाँ पे आपको trend दिख रहा है आपके सामने, वहाँ पे सोचो कि आप कैसे कर सकते थे. See, you are already an intermediate trader, so you have some idea के कहाँ पे बाय करना होता है कहाँ पे सेल करना होता है एग्जैक्ट एंट्री कौन सा होता है एग्जैक्ट टारगेट कहाँ होता है फाइंड वेर यू कुड हैव बॉट और वेर यू कुड हैव सोल्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू योर प्रायर नॉलेज जो एग्जिस्टिंग नॉलेज है उसके हिसाब से कहाँ पे आप ट्रेड करते थे यस निफ्टी आईटी ओके निफ्टी आईटी इसमें मत खोल ये जो लिखा हुआ है बाजू वाले में खोल निफ्टी में निफ्टी आईटी ओपन करो करंट मार्केट में दे दो करंट मार्केट करंट मार्केट करंट मार्केट परफेक्ट परफेक्ट Yes. So in which commodity you have clear trend के दिख रहा है कि ये trended है. Crude oil everyone can see crude oil. Crude oil में दिख रहा है. Gold में बिल्कुल नहीं है. Hello. Gold में बिल्कुल trend नहीं है. Crude oil में है. Silver में choppy है. Natural gas में है. Aluminium में है. Okay. Give me crude oil. आउट करो आउट करो आउट करो और आउट करो और आउट करो और आउट करो परफेक्ट परफेक्ट यस सो दैट्स योर क्रूड ऑयल एंड इट्स अ थ्री आर चार्ट कैन यू यूज इट इन डेली यस बट देन कमोडिटी मार्केट पंद्रह घंटा होता है चालू ऑलमोस्ट सो वेन इज फिफ्टीन आवर्स सो मे बी यू वैन स्प्लिट इड इन थ्री आवर्स तो दिन की पाँच कैंडल बनेंगी एंड यू विल हैव सम स्विंग ट्रेडिंग और पोजिशनल ट्रेडिंग का ये टाइप ऑफ ट्रेडिंग यू विल हैव समथिंग स्विंग ट्रेडिंग और पोजिशनल ट्रेडिंग टाइप ऑफ ट्रेडिंग वैन यू यूज थ्री आवर्स ऑफ चार्ट सो दिस इज थ्री आवर्स क्रूड ऑयल मूविंग एवरेज एक बार आप आँख से खुद देखो चेक इट फ्रॉम योर आइस Again, I'm telling you, moving average is not the point. Sticking with something which you feel right or which you visually backtested it's right or which you excel के backtesting से right है या फिर कोई software के backtesting से right है that you have to choose. Forty four, sixty six, both is fine. Fifty five, sixty six, seventy seven. 
बट सम फिल्टर कि जिससे आपको ये पता चले कि मार्केट कहाँ जा रहा है दिस विल दिस गिव्स यू दैट फिल्टर के मार्केट कहाँ जा रहा है ये सर नो दिस गिव्स यू दैट सेंस कि मार्केट कहाँ जा रहा है उसके बाद में दिस इज बेसिक स्टकैस्टिक दिस इज बेसिक स्टकैस्टिक एवरी वन हर्ड ऑफ स्टोकैस्टिक एंड नो वॉट इज बेसिक ऑफ स्टोकैस्टिक कोई है जिसको बिल्कुल नहीं पता है कि स्टोकैस्टिक क्या होता है सो आई एक्सप्लेन इट इन अ मिनट एवरी वन नोज वॉट इज ओके वी हैव वन पर्सन हु डोंट नो वॉट इज स्टोकैस्टिक ओके फाइन सो दिस गिवस यू एन ओवर बॉट एंड ओवर सोल्ड सिग्नल्स मतलब मार्केट और कितना नीचे जाएगा या और कितना ऊपर जाएगा कि मार्केट बहुत ऊपर आ चुका है सो वेन यू हैव स्टोकैस्टिक अबाउट दिस लाइन तो ये आपको इंडिकेटर बताता है कि बस बस मैं इतना ही ऊपर जाऊंगा नाउ आई विल गो डाउन और आई विल गो साइड वेज बट मेरा ऊपर ऊपर जाने का खत्म हो गया फॉर एग्जांपल सीलिंग हम ऊपर कहाँ तक जा सकते हैं ये वॉल तक जा सकते हैं सीलिंग तक जा सकते हैं इसी तरीके से ये जो सेवेंटी का जो लाइन है दैट इज सीलिंग एंड दिस लाइन इज अ फ्लोर के नीचे कहाँ जाएगा सो so, जब भी ये यहाँ पे नीचे आता है इट इज लाइक बस अभी वापस शायद और नीचे ना जाए अभी यहाँ पे मार्केट आता है तो अभी शायद और ऊपर ना जाए दैट्स द बेसिक लॉजिक ऑफ स्टोकैस्टिक यस ओके गुड सो द सिस्टम इज सो द सिस्टम इज दैट वेन योर मूविंग एवरेज इज राइजिंग दैट मूविंग एवरेज हैज टू बी अबाउ फोर्टी इश मूविंग एवरेज थर्टी ट्वेंटी नहीं चलेगा पंद्रह मूविंग एवरेज नहीं चलेगा एटलीस्ट फोर्टी फोर फिफ्टी सिक्सटी सिक्सटी सिक्स यू कैन गो अबाउ एनी थिंग फोर्टी बिकॉज इट्स अ लॉन्ग टर्म मूविंग एवरेज लॉन्ग टर्म मतलब ज्यादा समय की एवरेज है जो पिछले चालीस दिन को कंसिडर करती है सो लिटिल बिट अ लॉन्गर हॉराइजन विच इज फोर्टी फोर उसके बाद में वॉट आई वॉन्ट इज माई स्टोकैस्टिक टू गो बिलो ओवर सोल्ड जोन टू अबाउ बिलो ओवर जोन सोल सो ये इसका मैं आपको लॉजिक बताता हूँ क्या होता है जस्ट विजुअलाइज अ किड प्लेइंग विद बॉल फिर से बोल रहा हूँ ध्यान से सुनना एक बच्चा बॉल से खेल रहा है कैच कैच खेले होंगे हम भी ऐसा अकेले खुद अकेला और कोई घर में है नहीं तो विद द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट लेट से इफ दिस गोज हायर देन इट विल कम डाउन एंड अगेन If this goes here, फिर से बोल रहा हूं ध्यान से सुनना पहले ऊपर गया फिर नीचे आया अब ये यहां पर है वॉट इज अ प्रोबेबिलिटी ये कहां जाएगा जब कैच कैच खेल रहे हैं तो कहां जाएगा जब ये मेरे फेस पे होता है ऊपर की डायरेक्शन में तब ये कहा जाएगा ध्यान से देखना वेन द डिरेक्शन इज अपर्ड्स ऑन माई फेस द प्रोबेबिलिटी इसके ऊपर जाएगा बॉल के कॉन्टेक्स्ट में बोल रहा हूं ये समझ में आया सबको मैं क्या बोल रहा हूं एवरीवन हा सो विद द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट जब मार्केट ईच टाइम इफ इट कम्स इन टू योर ओवर सोल्ड जोन एंड इफ इट गोज अप दैट्स योर बाय दैट क्रॉस ओवर कैंडल इज योर बाय वहां पे जो कैंडल है यू बाय अबाउट द हाई स्टॉप लॉस बिलो द लो and maybe 1 is to 2 1 is to 3 is your target that's the logic number one thing what you cannot miss is a clear trend agar upar clear trend nahi hai volatile choppy trend hai us scenario mein this system will get ill invalidated visually jitna clear trend aapko dikh raha hai utna better hai कहाँ पे बाय करना है वो समझ में आया उसके बाद में नेक्स्ट बाय कहाँ होगा यहाँ पे मार्केट नीचे गया यस कैन यू मार्क दिस प्रदीप यहाँ पे मार्केट नीचे गया फिर जब ऊपर आता है ऊपर आने के टाइम पे दैट कैंडल अ सिंपल सिस्टम विच इज विच कैन बी एग्जीक्यूटेबल जो एग्जीक्यूट किया जा सकता है विच इज सिंपल टू डू सिंपल टू सी सिंपल टू एग्जीक्यूट 
इसको करते 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 यू विल फाइंड दोज एक्सट्रीम स्मॉल न्यूएंसेस जो मे बी मैम तभी स्टेज पे बात कर रहे थे कि इतने कैंडल के अंदर ही वो कैंडल बनना चाहिए देन ओनली आई विल बाय ये मास्टर ही तक के लेवल तक पहुंचने के लिए वी हैव टू फॉलो एनी सिस्टम लाइक दिस फॉर अ कंटिन्यूस बेसिस नंबर वन ट्रेंड इज इंपॉर्टेंट नंबर टू एनी लॉन्ग टर्म मूविंग एवरेज इज इंपॉर्टेंट अबाउ फोर्टी सो फोर्टी फिफ्टी सिक्सटी और मे बी फोर्टी फोर फिफ्टी फाइव सिक्सटी सिक्स सेवेंटी सेवन एनी मूविंग एवरेज इज ओके नीचे स्टोकैस्टिक सिंपल डिफॉल्ट ओवर सोल्ड में जाता है ऊपर आता है क्रॉस ओवर पे वी विल बाय अबाउट द हाई स्टॉप लॉस बिलो द लो वन इज टू टू पहला टारगेट वन इज टू थ्री दूसरा टारगेट क्लियर ट्रेंड नहीं है सिस्टम काम नहीं करेगा क्लियर ट्रेंड कैसे पता चलता है विजुअली जितना आप रोज प्रैक्टिस करते जाओगे उतना आपको चीजें दिखती जाएंगी आप खुद के लैपटॉप में आई वॉन्ट यू टू चेक दिस फॉर टू थ्री फोर मिनट्स क्रूड ऑयल ओपन करो थ्री आर का टाइम फ्रेम ओपन करो क्रूड ऑयल तीन घंटा तीन घंटे के अंदर चेक करो so once you check then you can raise your hand and you can tell me what you saw aur main iske sath mein shot bhi dikha du shot dikha du aage chalo so basically for short what we want is falling moving average clear falling moving average which moving average clear falling moving average again when it goes to oversold yahan pe mark karo so after it over so this is overbought my mistake this is not oversold so overbought mein hone ke baad mein जब ये क्रॉस डाउन होता है नीचे क्रॉस होता है यहाँ पे ये 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 नीचे क्रॉस होता है उसके बाद में यू कैन ट्रेड फॉर वन एस टू टू वन एस टू थ्री एज योर टारगेट वेन एवर यू विल हैव क्लियर ट्रेंड दिस सिस्टम विल वर्क आराम से अपने लैपटॉप में चेक करो यू कैन यूज मल्टीपल इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑल्सो गोल्ड में डेली चार्ट में ट्रेंड नहीं है तीन घंटे में ट्रेंड नहीं है तो और कहीं पे चेक करो मे बी दो मिनट में सिर्फ चेक करने के लिए करो ट्रेड नहीं करना है वी आर नॉट सपोज टू ट्रेड गोल्ड टू मिनट जस्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल जस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट आई वॉन्ट यू टू चेक मल्टीपल इंस्ट्रूमेंट मल्टीपल टाइम फ्रेम स्पेशली इन कमोडिटीज You can check aluminium also. You can check natural gas also. Multiple time frame check करो trade तीन घंटे में करना है but you will get an idea कि अच्छा कि किस तरीके से high volatility में ये नहीं चलेगा yes sir.
बट इफ यू सी दिस इट हैव नॉट हैपन एनीथिंग लाइक दिस अगर आप यहाँ पे तीन घंटे के चार्ट पे चेक करोगे आराम से बैठ करके तो वैसा कुछ होता नहीं है यस और कलेजा तभी आता है जब मालूम हो कि मेरा कितना जाएगा यस थ्री आवर्स क्रूड ऑयल इट कैन वैनिश लॉट ऑफ कैपिटल इन बट हमें क्लोजिंग बेसिस पे ट्रेड नहीं करना है राइट वी आर नॉट डूइंग स्टॉप लॉस ऑन अ क्लोजिंग बेसिस स्टॉप लॉस इज अबाउट द हाई सो योर स्टॉप लॉस इज केप्ट You okay, are not exiting your actually, position. No, no, that. no, no, no. Okay. So Buy okay. above the high, stop loss below the low. Short below the low, stop loss above the high. So uh, stop loss always has to be in market. Three hours time frame, right? Three hours time frame. Pay. Okay. Thank you. This is crude oil. Maybe continue यहाँ पे, यहाँ पे. यहाँ पे तो इट्स नॉट के स्टॉप लॉसेस बिल्कुल भी नहीं होंगे इफ यू यूज एनी बेसिक टेक्निकल एनालिसिस सिस्टम चाहे वो कोई भी इंडिकेटर बेस पे हो अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इट वर्क्स फ्रॉम 50 परसेंट टू 63 परसेंट और 65 परसेंट नॉट मच मोर देन दैट उसके बाद में जितना आप मेहनत करते जाओगे जितना वो न्यूएंसेस निकालते जाओगे देन योर प्रोबेबिलिटी कैन इंक्रीज बट दिस इज द सिस्टम और एक आध दो इंस्ट्रूमेंट मुझे दिखा दो ऊपर नेचुरल गैस खुला है तो एल्यूमिनियम दिखा दो एल्यूमिनियम एल्यूमिनियम है तो सो वंस यू गॉट दिस काइंड ऑफ मार्केट जहाँ पे मूविंग एवरेज फ्लैटेंड है अवर जॉब इज टू लीव दैट स्क्रिप्ट फॉर सम टाइम जब भी ये पट्टा आता है जहाँ पे दिख रहा है कि मार्केट साइडवेज है वहाँ पर नहीं करना है वो वहाँ पर ट्रेंड चल रहा है तो करेंगे नहीं तो नहीं करेंगे यहाँ पे अगर ट्रेंड चल रहा है ऑल दिस वन टू थ्री इज योर शॉर्ट मे बी फोर एंड यहाँ पे एवरेज खत्म हो गया सो स्टार्ट में चार ट्रेड आए कि ये दैट्स दैट कोई है जिसको सिस्टम ही नहीं समझा है कि एंट्री कहाँ करना है या स्टॉप लॉस कहाँ करना है जैसे कि ये सर से बात हो रही थी कि क्लोजिंग बेसिस पे इनको लगा कि स्टॉप लॉस होगा जो मैंने क्लैरिफाई किया क्लोजिंग बेसिस नहीं हाई एंड लो पे अपन लगा के रखेंगे सो इज एनी बडी मतलब समझ में ही नहीं आया कि कौन सा टाइम फ्रेम यूज़ करना है या कहाँ पर ट्रेड करना है या कौन सा इंस्ट्रूमेंट ट्रेड करना है जो सबसे बेसिक चीज़ में बोल रहा हूँ यहाँ पर इंस्ट्रूमेंट समझ में आया लॉजिक समझ में आया ओवरऑल लॉजिक मार्केट को पहले ट्रेंड फिल्टर कर लेना है सेम ट्रेंड कैन बी फिल्टर्ड आउट फ्रॉम आरएसआई आल्सो सो फॉर एग्जांपल आप कोई भी चार्ट पर एक वीकली आरएसआई लगा दो वीकली आरएसआई राइजिंग अबाउ सिक्सटी सो व्हेन वीकली इज राइजिंग स्टॉक इज इन मोमेंटम देन यू गो टू अ लोअर टाइम फ्रेम एंड बाय विथ स्टोकैस्टिक एग्जैक्ट same thing will work it's a same system whether you use moving average 44 or 66 or you use rsi weekly above 60 jo ma'am baat kar rahe the it's a same stuff chalo great uh that's it any 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 uh, question on this entry exit stop loss target filter yes sir nahi nahi suna what is the time frame for equity nahi i i recommend this more into this yahan pe main zyada commodity mein recommend kar raha hu to trade jab equity nahi chal raha see for equity you must have already have lot of systems but equity mein 3 hour commodities daily chart in equity to answer your question थ्री आर कमोडिटीज ऑलमोस्ट डेली चार्ट इन इक्विटी सो इक्विटी में डेली एंड कमोडिटी में तीन घंटा थैंक यू नेचुरल गैस लास्ट दिखा दो फिर लंच के लिए जाते आई गेस सर परफेक्ट 
So if it is a clear trend like this, we will have some traits. If you have clear trend like this, you will have some traits. If there is no trend, then trade will not come. That's it. As simple as that. Yes, sir. It's a visually, in this context, here, I know that I will get to the top. I will not get to the top. I will get to the top. And also, I will get to the top. That it has been finished. For example, in the Nifty Daily Chart, in February, 20-25 फेब के पास में पता चल रहा है कि ये अभी निफ्टी का ट्रेंड खराब हो गया है, सो दो महीने डेली चार्ट में निफ्टी में बाद में पता चलेगा, यहाँ पे भी उसी तरीके से सात कैंडल के बाद में पता चलेगा कि ट्रेंड गया। Disadvantage of this strategy is you will get less trades. You will get less trades. Advantage of this strategy that you will make some money. पैसा घर पे आएगा, and that is what it is important. चलो ग्रेट, सो जाए लंच के लिए, डिनर के लिए, हाँ संचालो, थैंक यू सो मच, थैंक यू Thank you, Siddharth. So it's been a long day today, and I'm here to tell you it could even get longer. But anyway, before it gets any longer, let's break for drinks and dinner. The bar is going to open in three minutes. So I mean, I sent a message saying it'll be starting by 8 p.m., but we've had since uh, because of the early um, closure of the previous uh, session. Let's start it early. And uh, I'm sorry, Santosh. Yeah, so we're going to have a panel discussion at uh, 10 p.m. after drinks and dinner. How many of you are game for that? Have the energy for it? Let's see some more hands. Both hands. So I think energy levels are, ha, huh, somebody is standing and also the yoga pose, which is nice. So, so let's break for uh, dinner. The bar is open. So please uh, enjoy yourself. We'll see you all by 10 p.m. here, back here. Thank you.